my lovely imps, it is time that we do something not so common on my channel, which is we're going to do a drama section that isn't a drama mama. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be completely honest. I don't give enough of a shit um, about this drama to devote hours to researching it. So I'm going to avoid uh, making major, like huge sweeping statements. And we're just gonna go and engage with it live. Maybe we can consider this like a drama research stream, basically. And if it's really, really bad or whatever, I'm sure I'll say something about it, but I'm gonna be completely honest. This is pretty much just some popcorn junk food fluff, as far as I can tell. But I'm not 100% sure, okay? I'm not 100% sure. So, let's be fair. I've been told that there is some trouble brewing. There's trouble in Twitch land, okay? Uh, a some of you may know of a content creator by the name of Chud Logic. He is a he's basically the only political drama streamer on Twitch that I can even think of. I can't really think of any other. I mean, yeah, I can't really think of anybody else of any note. Um, there might be a few other like political, but I don't really think so. He's basically the political drama streamer, and. Um, Chud Logic and I go way back. In fact, uh, I've always spoken very, very highly of Chud. Uh, Chud and I uh, were friends offline uh, before, uh, you know, before I, be I before I had any like success as a streamer. And Chud was one of the first people to ever um, to ever raid my channel, which I was really, really helpful for because, or really, really thankful for, I should say. Uh, really, really thankful for. Sorry, I misspoke there. Um, it was really special to me because early on, uh, Chud like would raid in like 40 or 50 people to my tiny little stream and it was uh it was really really great he, ha he even has an emote yeah chudlo garfass uh or chudlo garf imp is what it's called yeah so um yeah chud logic was i mean chud logic stream was the first the first debate i was ever involved in was on chud logic's chud night so me and chud go way back now we haven't really talked as much recently there's not really any reason for that other than like i don't stream on twitch anymore and we've gone sort of very different directions with our content uh chud has gone more into drama i have gone generally less into drama although i still engage in it sometimes um you know so we just have gone in different directions but what i'm trying to say all of this is to say that there is some drama brewing now i don't know yet because all I've heard about this is secondhand. I haven't seen any, barely any of the evidence. I've seen a few screenshots here and there. Um, but this drama, as I understand it, centers around a character by the name of DK. DK is Chud Logic's editor. And DK has found himself in hot water a couple of times. Um, and I'm going to with. I'm gonna like withhold my own thoughts about DK because I do have them, but uh, but I would rather go into this, you know, as fair as possible, you know? Okay, so the first video is a short one, and it's a video by a guy named President Sunday, and it's called Why I'm Burning the Chud Logic Bridge. Now, President Sunday is a small, but somewhat well-known name in these parts. President Sunday, uh, has uh, done a lot of videos. Uh, let's say that he focuses on critiquing debate streamers. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest, okay? Uh, President Sunday is somebody I have not uh, gotten along particularly well with in the past. Uh, I don't think he's like a bad guy, but sometimes I think, uh, I think he just misses social boundaries frequently. And... Uh, and that annoys me. I, I hate that. I hate people who do that. It makes me uncomfortable. Um, however, in fairness, I have been recommended to watch these videos by a number of people who I do trust. So, despite this, and as you can see, part of the reason why I'm saying this is because the truth is, I'm actually kind of biased towards Chud Logic. And I want you guys to understand. I know that some of you guys don't feel too great about Chud Logic. I know that a lot of people are very uncomfortable with how close he's made himself with DGG. I mean, I would I would say that that's his primary audience, and I find that uncomfortable. There's a reason why. I'm going to be completely honest here. I don't sh I don't go. First of all, I don't show up in chats anywhere on Twitch because. Um, you know what? Let me just tell you about this. I, I know we're kind of, this is a bit of a preamble, but you guys are here to watch me. So, um, real quickly, 
last night at about 2 a.m., um, I w w decided to go pop by a Twitch stream of a political streamer who I quite like. Um, and while I was there, I had showed up and said, hello, and how are you doing? I hope you're well. And within five minutes, there was a hate raid that said, that specifically brought up my name by an account, a fake account that said, uh, that, that brought up my name. That like literally, first of all, they said demon mama and then it had a bunch of bullshit. And then within, within minutes, there was a second hate raid by a fake account, which, which used my real first name, which very few people, I mean, people know my real world first name, but um, it's really weird. So uh, this is a common occurrence. Um, um, Twitch is a space where there is so many, there are so many uh, people that have been basically convinced that I'm the devil, that it's very uncomfortable for me to like, I can't chill in Twitch chats anymore. I literally can't. If I show up in a Twitch chat, not only am I gonna get a bunch of people pinging me bullshit, but also the streamers whose chats I appear in sometimes get raided. That's a really uncomfortable feeling. This also happened another time where I appeared on a friend's stream and their chat happened to be full of a lot of members from a community that doesn't like me. Like, I mean, doesn't like, really doesn't like me, not just doesn't like me a little bit. And suddenly the chat filled up with transphobia. And that feels pretty bad, you know? So, uh, unfortunately, Chud Logic's chat is one of those chats that really, really does not like me. So I don't really show up for Chud's streams anymore. I used to be a regular chatter. I've always been close with Chud. Um, and I always liked his, uh, liked hanging out in his community, at least until, you know, maybe the last year or so, at which point I can't go in there without people just adding me the entire time. If I show my face, I just get added stupid shit. People say, you're dumb, you're shit. And I'm like, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't like hurt my feelings. It's just annoying. Like I wanted, I don't want to de I don't want to derail people's chats with my presence. I want to add to the fun, not like make the chat like not like have a bunch of dumb gremlins crawl out and ruin the chat, like shit up the trap, chat, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to say all of this because I want you to understand I genuinely don't know, I don't know which way I'm gonna fall on this drama. Uh, I, I don't know. We have to see, I have to see what it is. It, this is a video made by somebody I don't generally uh, get along with very well about somebody I do generally get along with well. The only reason I really care about this drama is because so many people have asked me to look into it. So, there you go. Gigantically long preamble is over. And before we get any further, like the stream, like the video, press subscribe. I'm, I'm telling you, you're gonna have a fun time even if this preamble was a little boring. I just wanna make sure you're fully informed as to what we're talking about, okay? All right, let's do this. This is the first video. It's called, it's by President Sunday. It was uploaded three days ago and it's called Why I'm Burning the Chud Logic Bridge. And it has a picture of Chud Logic and trash. And I gotta say, uh, okay. All right, that's a lot of clickbait. Let's do it. Hello everyone. In light of recent events, I'm making this video to provide clarification as to why going forward, I will not be endorsing the character of nor associating with the channel of Chud Logic any further. Chud Logic pays Drift King Editing, hereafter referred to as DK, a racist and transphobic bigot, to run his YouTube channel, edit his videos, and moderate his Discord server. DK has a well-publicized past history of inappropriate interactions with a previous employer. Alright, to give some context, TF Blade, a popular league streamer known for hitting rank 1 on EU, so people are like... Holy shit! This is, dis this is a... This is like... Whole, these are this is a table of titans disguised toast pokimane lily pichu i don't know shonic i don't know this guy but these guys are huge they know who he is he's super skilled uh -huh. you know pretty funny as well recently his drama is his editor his youtube channel editor who apparently was receiving a hundred percent of the channel revenue. yeah of the channel's revenue which is Never heard of, by the yeah. way. I've ne I don't know a single YouTuber or streamer who gives 100% of his earnings. Mm -hmm. That is wild. Kind of like publicly flamed TF Blade. Once TF Blade fired him, and TF Blade said like, oh, you know, he wasn't working out. 
give him some chances. And then this editor essentially trying to expose TF Play like a terrible person. When someone in Chud Logic's server found out about this. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, it's really, really hard to hear them because they kept talking away from the mic. Um, they said that basically TF Blade fired DK, Chud Logic's current editor, and then after TF Blade, a quite large streamer, a very large streamer, fired DK, DK basically went on like a public hate campaign against him for firing him. History, DK wanted that person banned. The mod team voted against banning this person. In retaliation, DK claimed he would be willing to dig up anything he can find on anyone in the server and bring in friends from other servers to- Yeah, I talked to Chud a lot privately about the situation. Okay, so let me try and get this straight. So what's being said here is that DK has past drama. Someone in Chud's server brought up DK's past drama and then DK said, I want that person who brought up my past drama banned. Does that make sense? That makes sense? And then the mod team decided not to ban that person. And this was DK. And remember, DK is both the editor and the admin of Chud Logic's, uh, is like the editor for the YouTube channel and the admin for Chud Logic's uh, Discord. All right, so let's let's read these. I talk to Chud a lot privately about the situation also. I almost never put my foot down with mod actions. You all know that by now. This is the one that I'm asking to go through. And if it doesn't, that's fine. I respect the decision of the majority, but then I'll be more than happy to dig up anything I can find on anyone in the server since it's precedent that is now allowed not bannable. I'll also bring in friends from other servers to harass people, and I have some fucking autistic friends, trust me. Okay. Now, okay. Right off the bat, right off the bat, I'm just gonna say, if anyone on my mod team made a joke like that, not only would they be completely and utterly removed from any involvement with my channel, but I would in almost all guarantee make a public statement about how that person will never be allowed back in my community again. Just so that you're aware, if it was an admin, if it was an admin that made a threat like that, I would probably press legal action. Just so we're clear, okay? If an admin of my server threatened my viewers or threatened my fellow mods, I would absolutely consider that a legal threat. Just so that we're clear, okay? And just so that any of... <laughs> all of my mods know how seriously I take this shit and how much trust I give to my mods. But this is an admin. So... I just want to say that right off the bat, this, like, I, I, I'm waiting to see the context, but off the bat, from my position, if somebody, if somebody on my team said that, they would no longer be associated with me in any way. I would be as strong as possible in denouncing them in every way imaginable and making sure they had no access to any people in my community. That is, that is, uh, that is beyond the pale. So, just saying that sounds pretty fucking bad. ...to harass people. He repeats this with respect to a specific mod later on. No, it's okay. If Jellicle doesn't think it's too far, we can see what we can find on Jellicle. Um... So that is a direct threat at another mod. Chud Logic says, DK, no. I'll have people get to work. and elsewhere indicates that he already has sufficient information on at least one. Yeah. 
you just don't understand what blank is doing, which is expected because you weren't in our group chat. Nina dug up everything. I've never personally attacked these people. I have a shit ton of private info on them, but I've never done shit with it. But then the same people are digging back through my stuff from half a decade ago and using it to attack me and try to get me fired. Why do you have a fuck ton of private info on them? Yeah, hold on. No one stated they have stored folders of info or anything. This is stuff for them to hash out within their circle. This right here is absolutely unacceptable. Acknowledging, admitting to the fact, not just admitting to, um, can I explain the hashtag in DK's name? No, I can't. I don't know what that means. Um, I have a suspicion, but I'll try and find out. Uh, we'll, we'll try and, I think there's another video after this that's longer that's going to explain all of this. This is just the, the quick rundown. Like, this is just a ter this is just inappropriate for an admin to do. An admin should never, ever threaten or even be collecting and archiving private info on other mods. That is beyond fucked up. If anybody knows what Slutgate 2022 is, just let me know. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. I, I, I think I have an idea of what it might refer to, but I'm not 100% sure. One mod to do them harm. DK's sole defense of his actions is that they are retaliatory for the mod team setting a precedent of not banning someone for referencing DK's past embarrassing actions. DK thinks there is symmetry between this decision and his threatening the mod team with doxing and harassment, because he is a worthless idiot. Many, including myself, have politely and patiently asked Chud Logic to address this. Chud Logic's response so, to this King. is that you can't tell him what to do. Fuck you, you don't get to tell me what to do. You don't know how anything that happened or how it was resolved, uh, okay? This represents an unsalvageably infantile attitude to his responsibilities as both an employer and as a media creator. Before this, I thought of Chud Logic as a friend. However, I have other friends too. And I would not be a friend to them if I continued to associate with someone who authorizes his employees to slur and harass. Oh yeah, this is another one. Now this is something I've heard about before. One of the reasons I, I do not trust or, or have good thoughts towards DK this one was the one that was sent to me earlier. I've seen other things like this. There were other pe there were a number of people who um, of Chud Logic's channel who really don't like DK, and I've seen some of his Discord logs. Um, DK is is as far as I can tell, like the way he posts, he posts like a groiper. Like this is just this is just him being sad that he can't put insane tranny as a as a title for one of his videos. So like, yeah, I'm just saying like, th and this is like, this is stuff he publicly has posted in sections of Discord. So, you know. People of their description because of that description to slander and endanger the reputation. Does anyone know why Rhizome sexually harassed and solicited nudes from a minor in 2020? Grilled string beans and grilled corn? I'm getting a lot of DMs showing me proof. ...of other creators, and to field threats against his threats. staff. I have stood up for Chud Logic at multiple points in the past, for far, far less than he is unwilling even to address now. I did so at the cost of large portions of my audience and much sleep. I did so on the basis of my perception that despite everything, he had some semblance of character. That he was actually a friend and a decent person at heart. He has relieved me of that misperception. As always, thank you for listening, and take care. Okay, so that's the intro video. Now, there's been quite a bit. This was the one that was posted three days ago, and since then, quite a bit more drama has unfolded. So we have another video to go through. So buckle in. Like I said, this is going to be a bit of like a live investigation kind of thing, you know? Okay. So this is a this is a 30-minute video that is an edit of a conversation that uh uh that that oh, is there one that's like
Hold on a second. What's this one? This is a three hour video? No, no, okay, hold on a second. Is there timestamps in this shit? Okay, whatever. We're watching this one. Let's watch this condensed one and we'll decide. We're not watching a fucking three hour video. Can the website handle another animated emote? Wait, have you seen Chud Logic and DK's dumbass debate about Wa about Vosh with, with DK saying Vosh's rhetoric was enabling genocide against conservatives? No, but if you give me that link, maybe we'll watch it. We're doing this one. This is the 30 minute condensed version. Let's do it. Now, DK and Bryce had a very fractious relationship in my Discord, okay? They were constantly arguing and they were constantly bickering. Too quiet. We have to turn this up. The three-hour video is probably a stream. Yeah, it, it appears to be a stream. This is the one that I was sent to watch, though, so we'll we'll check in on this one. And if it's too if it's too shitty, then whatever. But we'll go. Let's see. Okay. Now, um, there was basically some information about Bryce that was brought up that DK used in a shitty way i'd say somewhat malicious way to wow okay so this this is actually is indeed new context that i was unaware of so dk um used personal information on rice in a malicious way that's the context for this this is the person dk wants banned no. to kind of needle bryce at certain points okay behavior needle bryce at certain points so he's harassing him with this information i asked him to stop and he did stop we hashed this stuff out with Bryce. We had a meeting, a mod meeting. We brought Bryce in and we kind of dealt, we, we ironed it out and it was all fine, okay? Now, there was another argument between the two of them and there was antagonism each way. And again, DK brought up this old drama um, that we'd squashed in this mod meeting. Bryce, in response to that... So DK brings up personal information on Bryce again. So by Chud's own admission, we have DK being the aggressor against a against a discord user bringing up personal information against against the user twice uh, seemingly unprompted like this was not a striking back found some information about dk from a previous drama a previous employer in fact and this was talked about on some very large channels this is known by hundreds of thousands of people at this point there are links uh to those things under my uh video why i'm burning the chud logic bridge so we can okay. go check that out ourselves. And then posted it in the Discord. I'm talking drama from like three years okay. ago. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. We'll definitely watch it. And that. It, was w it was when DK was an editor for someone called TF Blade, um, who is a, a league streamer. Okay. Now, There's Bryce problem. posted it with the intent of essentially just really pissing DK off. What then happened off the back of that is basically all of DK's haters in the server essentially fucking swarmed like vultures and there was this absolute fucking eruption of drama and everyone was talking about it yeah so so dk dug up stuff on this guy bryce was harassing him about it brings it up again and then bryce retorts with like hey you uh you did this by the way with a previous employer you you were a fucking deadbeat um and you got let go. And in retaliation, you started trying to badmouth him uh, to the world at large publicly to ruin his reputation. Yeah, I, f I fucking bet people were swarming on that. Okay, everyone was talking about it. Everyone was arguing about it. All the DK haters were just laughing at DK because they were like, well, you bought this on yourself. You know, you were making fun of Briss for this yes. old stuff and you're just an asshole and you're a dick and da 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 da, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and within the mod Good team there was some sort of fractious disagreement because DK was essentially saying, listen, Bryce has done a really shitty thing here. I want Bryce to be banned. Bryce has done the really... So, DK brings up personal information about Bryce twice. And then Bryce brings up inconvenient but public information about DK that had to do with DK under his, like, current name and everything, just old, and then DK threatens to, uh, threatens, or, or uh, says that Bryce should be banned, and then also 
continues on to threaten the entire mod team and the entire community if he doesn't get his way. That is, that is, I mean, I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. That seems like a pretty clear cut opportunity to fire somebody. That seems like the smart business decision would be to get this un unstable motherfucker as far away from anybody who wants to work with you. And if you're one of the mods who's suffering under that, get the fuck out now before he finally goes Joker mode and then doxes you. That is, that is so, uh, that is not just unprofessional, it's just fucking terrible. That's just, that is, yeah, if that was, if that was, I, I'm just speaking for myself here. I would ban somebody like that from my Discord for behaving like that, let alone would I never, I would never want somebody to undermine the, my team that bad. Somebody who's making threats at other members of the team is undermining your team's ability to function. You are hurting your team by maintaining relations with that. And by the way, I've had to fire a lead mod before, okay? Some of you maybe have been around long enough, uh, but my former lead mod, somebody who I trusted, uh, got involved in some, uh, let's call them spicy conflicts uh, with another person, and they said things that were absolutely inexcusable, and I fired them. So I've been there, and I would do it again, because nobody uh, who, is, who is being given even a modicum of power in my community should be allowed to make threats like that. I'm, 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 I don't know. Some of this, uh, I, I, I'm waiting to see what Chud Logic has to say about it. Maybe we'll watch Chud's video on this as well. Cause I'd the like to see. thing that I've done to Bryce. I want Bryce to be banned. And the mods were saying, well, how is what Bryce did any worse than what you did to Bryce? Because he'd brought up a little bit of old drama about Bryce, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, before and that, it essentially the led to DK having a what I call it's a schizo moment. Okay. Well, listen, Turbo Nutters, you fucking retard. Okay. Maybe there's another reason that someone's brought it up. I'm going to show you exactly how this got fucking dealt with. Okay. Okay. And you can see that let's this see has it. absolutely been resolved at the time. Okay. Big man, Chad. Let's see how this has been fucking dealt with. So let me show so. you this first of all. Okay. <laughs> let me show you this first of all. So this is President Sunday's first screen grab, yeah. okay? That he's got Creamin to read. Yeah. <laughs> Creamin. We're going to call him Creamin from now on. So this is, this is the long and the short of what he's presenting for Creamin to read, yeah, okay? That's correct, yeah. Here is the full context. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stupid bastard, Chud. You stupid fucking moron. <laughs> he doesn't have any... <laughs> How long's he been streaming? He's been streaming for an hour. He's built up to this over an hour. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. <laughs> I hadn't seen this yet. I saw, like, way farther down. This shit's, like, seven hours long. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this fucking thing. He, he talks about this. Let's just, there we go. Look at this. Seven hours and 13 minutes and 20 seconds. Seven hours on this. Pretty he spent seven, seven fucking hours. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's got nothing. He actually has nothing. I, I do, do find do you know it kind happened? of weird that you would, I'm, I'm, I, again, I find it kind of weird that you would excuse someone making a threat to your entire server when they're an admin, an admin that has access to a lot of information, being that they're a server admin and a lot of power, I'm surprised that you would sort of write that off as a schizo moment. When I had Queeman on, um, and I, wonder I was what like, the hey, Queeman, motivation is I, this is off the cuff. I hadn't planned this. It's like, you're, you're defending this. Right? Okay. All right. Well, how about this? I'm going to have you on. I'm going to have you read this. And then I'm going to have you tell me. Because I don't know who the fuck Queeman is. Um, I've never, I've never talked to him at this point. So I'm, I'm, this is, this is what I'm thinking in the back of my head. I'm going to have mine. He's going to read this. He's going to go, uh, and I'll be happy to dig up anything on, on, on anyone in the server and 
Oh. Oh, that's that's. Oh yeah, something you guys gotta understand. Okay, some of you newcomers, some of you 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 sweet summer children in the chat, some of you all don't realize that like nested react videos is like that is the norm in Twitter in uh, in Twitch politics. All they do is nested react video. Re na ne blah. Wow, I'm stumbling over my words. Nested react videos. It's like reactions to reactions to reactions. So don't blame me for this. Okay. This is what I was given, okay? This is what they make, okay? I'm, I'm, you know, it's, I will agree that this is very difficult to follow so far, but I'm doing my best. So just bear with me and let's have fun together, okay? That's a little weird because I, I don't, I don't know anything about this guy. So I'm assuming he's sane. Um, I'm assuming like this is just like a normal member of like Chud's server and he's just, you know, friends with them or whatever. So I go, I go off stream to take my break. Exactly. And I cross theory. out the names. Very haphazardly, very quickly, and I I miss some because they're oops, and I miss some because there are like uh there are like you know people are replying to things, but I very quickly just like pff, bad job, I'm tired, a little tipsy. The stream wasn't really about that; it was a very long stream about something else. Um, and I have them on. It's like, hey, why don't you just read this for me? Okay, and then read this other one. Like they're they're unambiguous threats. So he reads them. He's like, well, there's no. We'll know there's context for this. It's like, for me, this is this is an unambiguous threat. I'm like, what? What do you mean there's context for this? This is a- Obscursus said, I had a bad impression of Demon Mama. Well, I'm glad you're here now. I don't think I have- a, I, I mean, I'm, I'm glad you don't have a bad impression anymore. Uh, people said a lot of really shitty, untrue things about me. Uh, people with huge platforms said some pretty heinous shit about me that wasn't true. So a lot of people have a bad impression of me, and I'm I'm just glad to hear that some people are giving me another chance. Because, uh, you know. Threat. There's, there's literally no context I have a lot that of haters. justify this. Like, For a couple of reasons. Haters. Let me, let me uh, show you again. It's actually, the additional context is, is more damning. <laughs> it doesn't help him at all. So this is, this is how this actually reads. Let me minimize myself here. So. I almost never put my foot, foot down. This is the first time I'm asking to go through. Thanks, and if it doesn't, uh, that's fine. I respect the decision of the majority. But then I'll be more than happy to dig up anything I can find on anyone in the server. Since it's precedent that it's now allowed, not bannable. Also, and this is this is something additional, by the way. Also, I'll bring in friends from other servers to harass people, and I have some fucking autistic friends, trust. This is a threat. And then you might go like, okay, guys, I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to simulate for you what it's like when this happens to you. See, so you understand. No. Cause then uh then this then this happens. Um I was explaining what the press. Nobody is threatening Lamau. Here's here's wait. Here's a mod that says, "Is our boss threatening us?" Nobody is threatening Lamau. I was explaining that the precedent would allow for if he's not banned, and I'm saying I'll make full use of that if it's the case. That is a threat. That is a threat. You're reiterating that you will dox everybody if they're not banned. This is just. This is. This is. Typical spineless Pepe posting shit. Again, I'm pretty sure almost everything I've done drama-wise has been retaliatory. I'm never actively seeking out people to attack. Well, that's obviously not true, even by Chud's own words. Chud said that it was DK who initiated the per personal attacks. It would allow if he's not banned. Okay, that's, that's a hypothetical. And saying, I'll make full use of it if it's the case. They don't make the decision he wants. He's going to make full full use of that precedent. And the precedent in his mind is he can dig up anything on anyone and he can send people to harass them. Oh, don't worry. That's I the will. additional context. This is Chud Logic's this is Chud Logic's reply. It's like, but but you cut off the part that makes it fucking worse, you moron. How fucking stupid are these people? Ah, oh, fuck, I gotta make this small again. Hang on, everyone stay calm. We'll get there. No. So. No! He's got nothing. Fix it! He's actually got nothing. So notice the difference in size here. Yeah, it's bigger. It's bigger. Here is the full context of that series of messages. All right. The British, the Brit, the, 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 the British accent. Okay, first of all, I need to put this up in speed. This needs to be a 1.5. Present Sunday talks way too slow. 
And also, God, the fucking doing an impersonation of the accent when you don't like them is so cringe. Please. That gives a lot more insight into exactly what it is that happened. Oh, man, Chad. Chad, baby, no. The course of that conversation, okay? So, President Sunday's claim here oh. is that DK is some sort of fucking nutter that is holding mods to task by threatening to dox them. No, uh, my, my, my claim. Okay, to be fair to President Sunday, no. The claim is that DK threatened his mod team and the users of the Discord, which is an imminent and a an imminent, actionable, and real threat to an entire community. How many members are in Chud's Discord? Okay, well, there's at least 500. I know that much. Just based on how many people are offline on his server currently. There's at least 500 people in his Discord. That is a lot of people where you have an admin threatening to dox and leak private information about those users and the mod team. That is... That is... That's a lot. I I would I would not stay in that server. If I'm going to be completely honest, no offense, this is saying nothing personal to Chud, but if I was in that server, I would get out. To be very specific, is that DK is a fucking nutter who is threatening mods because they aren't doing what he wants them to do. And thank you for the additional context, Chud, because now we actually know that they aren't doing what he wants them to do because he was doing the same fucking thing to someone before this. He's the instigator of this. Thank you. Thank you, you fucking moron. Okay. What's the actual truth of this interaction and what actually happened though? So. Let's, let's read the bottom here, okay? Let's, let's just, I guess you'll read Basically, it Basically, what DK did was wrong, and he did end up apologizing for this, which we'll get to in a minute. Oh, oh good, he apologized. He, uh, he, he tried to pedo jacket Rai recently. But what DK was trying to say is- Okay, so there's 2,011 members. There's 2,011 members of that Discord. That's a fucking, really, a beyond irresponsible thing for an admin to say at all, ever. And it is certainly not something that would put me in a very trusting position of that individual. That you are all supporting what Bryce has done to me, okay? But if I'm saying, well, if, if it's okay for Bryce to do that to me, it sets a, sets a precedent that that's acceptable, and that means that I can therefore do it to you, right? This is the fundamental point. So nobody was banning DK for this. So the precedent's already been set by DK. Point that DK was trying to get at. And right. Yes. If DK had previously targeted personal information of that other user and wasn't fired or banned, the precedent has already been set. So this is just a, this is literally cry bully shit. DK is literally saying, you should let me hurt the people I don't like because I'm the admin. And, and if you don't, if you don't get rid of the person I don't like, I'm gonna do it to all of you too. That's very, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Like, uh, okay, I, I don't know. What the fuck is going on? Presented it in a fucking crazy way that made him look like a schizo that was gonna go and start fucking with people. Okay? As he said he would. He didn't present it in a way that made it look like he would. He said he would. And then he did, by the way. Just, just after the wrong people. He went after Rhizome. Why? Why? I mean, I get Rhizome, by the way, is another Twitch streamer. Um, Rhizome is like a, a mid, a, a, a mid-sized Twitch streamer, if I remember correctly. Like, I think he gets like 80, 80 to 120 viewers average. Maybe I'm but wrong. After me, why do you go after Rhizome? Check. There's no, Rhizome didn't do anything to him. Okay. But the fundamental point was, if you allow this behavior to occur, it justifies me doing it to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. And, and you know what? That'd be, that'd be a really stupid thing to say, and that'd be threatening. But then he goes yeah, on to he say, gets about 162 average. Um, you, you know what it's called, like Chud, when you say you're going to do something bad to somebody okay, if, they so that's pretty big. Way, yeah. uh, if they don't do what you want them to do? That's called a threat, you fucking idiot. He threatened them. He threatened yeah, them with is. criminal action. I, I agree. I have to say, I, I agree with... Uh, I, I actually agree with, um, with President Sunday here. Uh, so far. I don't know how far President Sunday takes this, but so far, I will agree that that threat is indeed a pretty big a pretty big deal not only uh not only could it like not only is it a big deal for your community and for trust in your own community and trust from your own mod team but it opens you up to um now that it's out now that the the information has gotten out it's actually possible that it could open you up to action from discord like like unironically Discord has pretty strict no doxing, uh, no harassment policies, and they have taken servers down for it. You could lose your entire Discord server because your admin is threatening members of your mod team and your user base. That's for, uh, that's this. This is not. And the thing that's is, not good is like, yeah, obviously, if well, you're saying, I, I do agree. President Sunday is simply correct to say that this is a threat because it is. That's a threat. 
you deserved what happened to you. Ha ha ha. And then you say to them, okay, well, how about I do it to you too? Or if you say it's acceptable in the rules of the server that happens to you, and then you say, okay, well, I'll do it to you. And you suddenly act outraged. You can't do that. It's like, well, you've just said you can do that because it's about someone you don't like. But when it's you that's at the target of this, you fucking lose your mind. That's the point that was being made. By, by the mod team, because DK was the aggressor. DK started doing this first for no reason. Just because he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's an insane man-child with a Napoleon complex. Something Bryce said pissed him off. Or something about Bryce's face pissed him off. So he started digging up embarrassing stuff about Bryce. Or like posting embarrassing stuff about Bryce. And so Bryce found stuff in the public domain that DK put out there in a previous effort to slander somebody else, by the way. And then DK's like, well, ban, ban this guy. Ban him, ban him. This isn't fair. It's like Eric fucking Cartman. And then they say no. And so he says, oh, all right then. Uh, then. Then I'll dig up stuff on you. It's only fair. I'll dig up stuff. And by the way, like I've got, I've got my Kiwi Farms friends, right? I'll, I'll sick them on you too. Or whoever the fuck he's talking about. It doesn't matter what they're- I mean, I mean, President Sunday is just accurately describing exactly what DK said. Like, and now we have greater context too. And it, and he, he doubles down on it. He says, oh no, I'm definitely not threatening them. I'm just saying I will do exactly what I said I was going to do. It's just being, it, it, it's very straightforwardly. He's just saying he's not threatening while threatening. It's the yeah. same thing. I, I don't know what to say. Now, did Deke make it in the best way? No. A point you sound like a fucking... No, he didn't make it in the best way, you fucking moron. You fucking weasel. Moron and a weasel. Like, like this, is, this speaks for itself. This is clear as fucking crystal. This is a threat. The additional context shows it's a threat. All the additional context shows, by the way, is that you were present while this was going on, and you did nothing. And now you're carrying water for it, and you're covering for him. That's how fucking pathetic you are, Chud. Schizo, okay? But let me just show you this conversation so you can just kind of see exactly right, what it was let's see the conversation. that was said yeah. in that first screenshot. <clears throat> the present Sunday shared. So, yeah, I talked to Chud um, a lot privately about the situation also. I must never put my foot down with mod actions. You should know that by now. This is the one that I'm asking to go through. So he's referring to the idea that Bryce should be banned for what happened, okay? So he is fucking pissed off at this point. He's, you know, engaging in fucking schizo mindset. He is fucking pissed, okay? <clears throat> and if that doesn't, that's fine. I respect the decision of the majority. But then I'll be more than happy to dig up anything I can find on... I don't know. Uh... Just playing off a threat to your mod team in your mod chat directly to your mods where multiple where m multiple mods uh, 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 multiple mods are saying uh, is our boss threatening us? Well, when you put it like that, definitely don't ban Briss. Uh, like, and also, uh, I mean, yeah, this is that's pretty bad. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like. I, I think playing that off as like a schizo moment is 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 a pretty severe miscalculation. Anyone in the server, since it's precedent that is now allowed, not bannable. Also, I'll bring in friends from other servers to harass people, and I have some fucking autistic friends. Trust. This person says, "Wait, so the person DK wanted to ban had posted doxing material in the server? No, um, no, no, no. That's not what happened. So according to Chud, DK had had brought up personal information about this person twice before." And then it had been sorted out basically peacefully. It had been sorted out with the mods and DK had been like, you know, reprimanded for it or whatever. But then uh, they got in another fight and this time Briss or Bryce brought up, uh, brought up information about some controversy that DK had had in the past, which was like five years ago, but was very embarrassing. And it wasn't docs, it was just he publicly was an editor for another channel and that got covered all over the internet. So he was talking about, to be fair, it was old, but it was like five years old and it was already well publicly known information. And that made DK very angry. And then DK then threatened the mod team and the users. So that's that just a summary of what we've got so far. So now keep in mind that the only aspect of this so far that chud logic has disagreed has like contested is that um whether or not dk was actually actually meant what he was saying that's the only thing that that chud has really contested he's agreed with president sunday's presentation um with everything except for um with, with everything except for whether whether chud believes that dk was being serious Chud is saying that it was a schizo moment and therefore nothing to be worried about. I would personally, from my outside perspective, strongly disagree. Strongly disagree. 
And Vash responds, well, when you put it like that, don't... Oh, come on, Chud, spin it, spin it. Ban Bryce. You can do it, spin it. DK little laugh emoji there. I know there's smoke Silk says, I'm busy um, with learning the layout of where I'm going to be for my PhD. But from what I've skimmed, I'm on board for banning Bryce. And DK says, Dr. Silf on board, come going, yes or no. And remember, hold on, I just want to read this again. Uh, I almost never put my f this is from DK. I almost never put my foot down with mod actions. You all know that by now. This is the one that I'm asking to go through. There is no joking in this tone. This is completely straight tone. And if it doesn't, if the ban doesn't go through on the person he doesn't like, that's fine. I respect the decision of the majority, but then I'll be more than happy to dig up anything I can find on anyone in the server. Like I said, that's not just threatening the mod team, that's threatening every person in ChudLogic, all 2011 members of ChudLogic's server. I'll also bring in friends from other servers to harass people, and I have some fucking autistic friends, trust me. Tom Grennan says, is our boss threatening us? DK says, immediately, nobody's threatening. No, no, but then he's, but then he's friends. Any friends? Like, look, look. Imagine this, okay? <clears throat> give me your, give me your money, or I'll shoot you. This isn't a mugging. Did that work? That doesn't work. That doesn't work, does it? No. I was explaining what the president would allow for if he's not banned. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and that'd be a perfectly respectable. No, he was saying that's what the president would allow for, and he also explicitly said he would use, he would use that precedent to harm everyone that he can on the server. That is literally threatening to take down everyone because he doesn't agree with the decision. And not just take not just take down the server, take down the individual people in the server who haven't done anything wrong. This is just, I mean, I mean, this is so inappropriate. Beyond inappropriate. Whole thing to do, you know, besides the fact that he himself is, was the instigator here, did this to somebody else first, did this to employer first, which was supposedly the information that Bryce dug up. Um, and then in addition, uh, this, this happened twice after it was resolved. Okay, leave that aside, fine. Fine, leave, leave that aside, okay. Yeah, sure. You set a precedent where it's okay to dig up information on people and post it, public or not. Uh, even if it's public, then yeah, that's a, that's not a great that's not a great precedent for a server, it's not great for community. Um, but he doesn't stop there. He doesn't say like, hey, if this is a precedent, this could happen, right? He says, this is the precedent. If you do this, then I'll do it. I'll do it to you, and I can. And saying I'll make full use of it if that's the case. Yeah, that's a threat. You idiot. That, that is a threat, yes. I would agree. Happens again. Look at this. Here we go. No, it's so okay. The other if Jellicle doesn't think before. it's too far from what Bryce is doing, we can see what we can find on Jellicle. DK now. All the people get to work. Pretty sure almost everything I've done drama-wise. Hilljoy40k says, essentially this reads like DK has Chud over a barrel, Imo. That, maybe that's the thing. Maybe DK has dirt on Chud logic. Maybe that's what's going on here. This is a very, it's very weird to deny that that's a threat. And not just to deny that that's a threat, but to act as though that's not something that your users, your viewers, and your mods should not be concerned about. Again, if my head mod threatened to dox anyone on the server at all, even if they were joking, they're out. That's not acceptable. That's not okay. It's it, Not only is it a giant liability to me, the streamer, but it's also just completely understandable why no one would feel comfortable around somebody who's willing to make a threat like that. This has been retaliatory. I'm never seeking out people to attack. Now- No, no, he's saying it's retaliatory. He's not seeking out people to attack. He's going to interpret them not doing what he wants as an attack and he's going to attack them. That's a threat. This is like fucking sovereign citizen levels of logic here. This is so fucking dumb. This is so dumb of Chuck hey, to play like this. excuse me. Don't be mean to the sovereign citizens. The sovereign citizens would never be so dishonest. Sovereign citizens have the most spine. Even though they're totally useless and mostly what they care about is getting out of DUIs. I did not realize, like I didn't, I definitely didn't realize this man was this fucking depraved, but I certainly didn't realize he was this stupid. This is stupid. This is dumb. This is really, really dumb. The other thing as well that President Sunday has done in all this is a lot of the screenshots that have been presented don't include me in any way. Oh no, well let's let's read. Let us read what is included. They don't include me in any way, right. okay? Okay, let's see. But throughout this drama, I'm working to try and simmer the situation down because DK's pissed off, right? The mods are freaking out because they think, is DK going to do some crazy shit? Hear that? Hear what that fucker just said? Wait, yeah, Chud here just admitted to the problem. The mods are freaking out because they think their boss is going to do crazy shit. That's not acceptable. That's not fucking acceptable. Ever.
at all. Especially for volunteer mods. Earlier he was trying to say, <laughs> Stranger Things, I don't think I believe you. But if you do, okay. Is our, is our boss, is our boss threatening us? Like it's a joke. No, they're freaking out because they were fucking threatened. And this fucker, this worthless piece of shit. He's like, well, we can't lose DK. We can't lose DK, we got views. We got so many views with DK. Fuck your views, fuck your channel. You're worthless, you produce nothing. You're a parasite. Okay, and I'm trying to fucking bring the temperature down. I'm trying to fucking bring the temperature down. No, don't bring the temperature down. Don't bring the temperature down. Be a fucking man and deal with this. You're the boss. You don't deal with this. This now, You now own this. That is you. Now, in the course of this conversation, am I saying what DK said is okay? No. DK has gone- No. You are, as a matter of fact. I'll tell you why. Because talk is worthless. Your actions speak here. Um, yeah, you said no. You lukewarmly said no. DK, no. Is this no, a character? Windleby, is Stranger a character? Is Stranger like a like a Chud Logic hater or something? Yes, this is sped up. This is sped up because uh, no offense, no offense to to President Sunday, but both Chud Logic and President Sunday are slow are very slow talkers. And yeah, be it. Everyone, calm down. DK is just kidding. You're just kidding, aren't you, DK darling? Yes. It's okay. By the way, ban ban these people who are bitching about this. You know, they're making drama out of nothing. DK is a sweetheart. He's just misunderstood. On fucking schizo, and he's making a point, sure, but he's making it in the He's making a threat. He's making a point, and he's making a threat. Good job, Chuck. Fucking idiot. The absolute fucking worst way possible, okay? So to the point where people are freaking out, thinking he's going to go around fucking doxing people and shit, okay? Now, the unfortunate reality is people have taken this, and they've clipped it in certain ways to make it look as bad as possible, and to make it seem like DK is going around threatening mods to keep them in line, okay? Now, here's the second- that, But that's not what he said. That's not what President Sunday said at all, actually. We just watched this. We watched this and we watched the video that Chud, that President Sunday posted in the three minute video, which was the first video posted. President Sunday very straightforwardly simply said, DK is threatening mods and users in your server and that's not okay. That's all he said. He didn't say that he was going around breaking their knees for money. Like, I don't know what Chud Logic's angle is here screenshot that DK shared, so not DK, the President Sunday shared, that looks really fucking damning. Yeah, it really fucking does. And a little less for you, because I liked you. I was friendly with you. I kept you out of it. Because you know what? You know what this looks like here? You being here? That looks really fucking bad. Because, see, if, if you're not present, right? If you're distant, if you're getting all this secondhand, and this is maybe being like contextualized for you after the fact, I can see you having a misread on it. I can see you not treating this with the due severity that it deserves. But you're right here, as this is going on. The same minute. You didn't protect the people he threatened. You protected him because he's he's, he's, your, he's, he's, he's your buddy. What a fucking joke. Okay, if you look at it initially. No, no. When you look at it for a long time, and I looked at it for a long time, do you think I got somebody to come on stream and read something out for me if I didn't know exactly what it said, backwards and forwards? No, it's okay. If Jellicle doesn't think it's too far, we can see what we can find on Jellicle. I'll have people get to work. Exactly, the point being made is secondary to the threat. I mean, again, so this is three separate doubling down on the threat. Three separate times that this guy has doubled down on the threat to the mod team, and this is one specific user being highlighted out. This is very bad, okay? Like, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I'm sorry, but Present Sunday so far is spot on correct. This is absolutely 100% worthy of, of very, 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 very swift action. It's a threat. The point is the justification of the threat, not vice versa. The threat isn't an illustration of the point. The point is to make him feel like he's in the right to be threatening. Okay, so that sounds pretty bad, right? <laughs> see it fucking out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Out of fucking nowhere. Out of fucking nowhere. He's just attacking Jellicle, who was a mod at the time, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, 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 feedback for President Sunday. Stop with the accent. It's making me cringe. Don't do that. It doesn't make your argument sound better. It makes you sound petty. You have a strong argument. Right, Sounds fucking insane, doesn't it? Let's see, let's see the context, Judge. Let's see. Well, again, no. we've got a couple of lines of chat messages here. Okay, right. okay, real quick, though. I just want to think about something. Um, mods in chat. Okay, my mods. Mods of my community. 
How would it make you feel? How would it make you as a mod feel if, if say, my lead mod threatened to dox even one? Let's say that they threatened to dox one other mod person and weren't removed from that. How would it make you mods feel? I don't know how many mods we have in chat right now. Because I know how it would make me feel. Sill says I would leave. Not very cash money. I'd leave, says Sid. So yeah, that's what I would do. If I was on a team, yeah, Alora says I'd be gone. Well, yeah, Danny says I wouldn't stay. That's how I feel. If I was on a mod team and that happened, I would not be a part of it. I would not, I would not want to do that. It's not worth my time. Threaten to dox a mod depends on the reason. All right, that's fair. I can imagine a hypothetical. I can also imagine a, a hypothetical. Like, for example, if there was... Okay, I, obviously there are some exceptions. Like, for example, if there was a crypto Nazi in your server and they were hiding it out and denying it super hard and then somebody posted that they were like a member of the Proud Boys that had specifically gone to, like, infiltrate your group. Okay, yes, obviously, but... Yes. But barring, barring the most ridiculous time... <laughs> yeah. A bunch of his mods did leave? Damn. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, it's kind of a moot point if you have to go to that level of an extreme. Yeah, I think people... I think it would... I think we. it's safe to say that mods on ChudLogic's team are very justified in feeling uncomfortable with this. Like, very, very much so. And I would argue that they're wise to not be involved when there's a somebody who would be willing to triple down on making doxing threats against users and, and mods. Let's see. What's the full context for what's happened? Well, let's have a little look at that, shall we? Let's have a little look. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Chud, just, just give up. So these are the full messages of Axe. You're, you're out of your, you're out of your depth, man. See I mean, it, says. it hurts to say you're out of your depth because it involves reading, but you're out of your depth. Change, okay? So, Dr. Jellica has not commented at any point here, and his input into this conversation is, Bryce didn't go too far. He didn't. <laughs> Bryce didn't go too far. What Bryce allegedly, according to Chud, what Bryce did was bring up already publicly available but old information about DK that DK doesn't like. Basically, DK's mad that he went on a fucking tirade against his former employer and people thought it was cringe. Huh. Bryce did less than what uh, DK did by the sound of it. DK was aggressed on Bryce. DK dug up stuff on Bryce personally. But the stuff that Bryce found, DK made public. He's just embarrassed by it, as he should be, because it was really, really stupid. Which is, you know, par for the course for DK. But no, Bryce didn't go too far. And then, wait, this makes... Ch this all... Wait, President Sunday's right. This makes Chud Logic look worse. We get it, Jellicle, you're a fucking loser, says DK. And then DK says, no, it's okay. If Jellicle doesn't think it's too far, we can see what we can find on Jellicle. Chud Logic says, DK, no. Then DK says, I ha I'll have people get to work right now. Chud Logic says, this is fucking crazy. You are schizo posting. Come the fuck on. And then DK says, well, Jellicle thinks it's fine. Brace retaliated in kind with publicly accessible information. This is, this is what Chud Logic trades in. This is his bread and butter. He does this for a living. It's just DK's a fucking weakling, and so is Chud. They can dish it out, but they can't take it. That's why all of a sudden... The mod team... Revolt Rise says, The mod team is still very strong over there. Come Gremlin Hydra Voss? Wait, is that it? Oh yeah, Kim Jung Rodman and DK. There's only like 2k folks in there. That's a good amount of mods. Wait, one, two, three, four, five mods? Is that true? Is there only five mods for a 2,000 person server? That's off the rails. Say, I don't know if that's actually true though. Let's double check. Wait, there are only three mods. Wait, that's online. So wait, maybe that's not true. Well, that does seem to be the, the the number of mods there. There's not many people. That's very few mods. I 
I do only pay on, I only, I, okay, my, most of, oh, look, I know there's questions in the chat. First of all, yes, I'm already planning a mod night. So you lovely mods, get the word out. There's going to be a mod night soon. It's been too long since we've done a mod night. So don't worry, we're going to do that. Uh, I, I do not, most of my mods are brought in under the understanding that they are volunteers and they are never expected or demanded to do anything other than be, be upstanding members of the community in general. They're held to the same rules as anybody else. Plus, you know, the fact that they're a volunteer mod. My head mod is paid. My editor is paid. My thumbnailer is paid. My producer is paid. And every once in a while, I do a mod night, which is where all of the donations are split between the mod team. And I do that because while it isn't financially realistic for streamer for most streamers to pay an entire mod team until you get really big, it's just a fact. It's just impossible. Unfortunately, we don't make enough money from these platforms to do that. But I want to make sure that money gets to the people who do some work for me. And I also try to give them some other benefits. So, you know, I try to be cool about it. Yeah, volunteer poster police. Yeah. He's the lolk out here. You have you have the you have the power to do uh you have the power to to do uh you know police brutality like you know uh posting stickers in 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 live stream chat where stickers aren't allowed for example. He's the fucking weakling with the with the psychotic editor who he's just he's just he's just too fucking in love with to to deal with when he's he's feeling threats and oh, making thank his you. Hey, I appreciate that, Alora. Well, of course, you were amazing to work with, uh, obviously. There's no reason why I wouldn't want to work with you. So, anyway, let's continue. Panic. They shit the bed. Congratulations, Chud. This is you forever. It doesn't matter how silly I look. I know I look silly. I've got a, I've got a ridiculously deep voice. I, I talk like I'm from a Charles Dickens novel. I wear cardigans. I've got a really cool fucking lamp. My chin's too small. But this is you. I would not trade this for that. Oh, not in a million years would I trade this for that. <laughs> like, bro, why would you fucking say that? That's literally insane. That's literally fucking insane. This has been a massive firestorm of drama in my server. I'm desperately trying to simmer things down. I'm desperately trying to resolve- Yeah, I was gonna say, I actually think that President Sunday's voice is one of his strongest features. If he got a nicer mic and, uh, I don't know, up the production quality a little bit, I think his voice has the potential to be really good. This no, no, again, I'm not trying to be a hater or whatever, it's just like... This is really hard to follow. You gotta just clean it up a little bit, that's all. Situation, okay. Yes, and a noise gate. Yes, and a noise gate. And this fucking moron comes in and goes, huh, well, I don't, I don't think Bryce went too far at all. Like, what the fuck, bro? Why go fuck yourself. Actually, go fuck yourself. You're defending this? How fucking dare you? Bryce didn't go too far. You I just miss? spent- Hold on. Moron comes in and goes, huh, well, I don't, I don't think Bryce went too far at all. Like, what the fuck, bro? Why go fuck yourself. Actually, go fuck yourself. You're defending this? How fucking dare you? Bryce didn't go too far. You just spent the last, like, 20 or so minutes saying DK instigated this. Everybody's panicking because he made a threat. It's not I'm a threat. Afraid, just didn't say it's not a threat. He's making a point. Fuck you. You're also lying. You're not, you're not too stupid to lie. You're just too stupid to do it well. Would you say oh, that? Okay, yes, of course. Uh, uh, I can't say your name. Oxazabazabak is a zero in YouTube chat. I don't know what to tell you. I admin a 7k meme server and we do quite well with like five or six mods. Okay, yes, that is true. There are some types of servers that you can get away with like not a lot of mods, um, but political servers tend to have a lot of, uh, let's call it debate. Let's have some contention and things get out of hand all the time. For political servers, you can't run with that small of a mod team. It's just really, yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect it either, Swindleby. I know, it's very weird. This. You're literally just pouring fucking- You know how, how old DK is? I think he's in the 20s. Doesn't matter. Gasoline on the fire. Anyway, I here's kind of thing. felt- Here's the thing. I don't care about DK. I care about Chud Logic. DK is, DK is a non-issue. DK is an employee. He's, he's Chud Logic's dog. Chud Logic needs to put him down. He needs to get rid of him. That's, that's his job. Um, he's not doing that. He's not doing that. The views! The views! Yeah, Chud yeah. Chud Chud Logic is a big shot content creator. Okay, well, uh, I know we're kind of getting distracted here. Self-loathing egomaniac. You guys run a tight ship, though. Your your mods are super involved in the Discord, and it's a pretty it's a pretty tame place most of the time. Anyway, he gets four hundred views per stream concurrently. Sometimes a thousand. All it cost him was any respect he would have ever had in his entire life. All it cost him was his dignity. All it cost him was the rupture of the misperception that. There was anything of a man in him whatsoever. What a fucking weak bug. 
bad for Jellicle because DK then went started fucking popping off at him. And I even messaged him about it and said, listen, sorry about that. I'm trying to calm things down. You know, let's just take a step back, okay? Imagine imagine being so stupid that you think this makes you look good. Love See, I, I, again, I don't care how I look. I'm a little bit like Haas that way. I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I, 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 see, I see this stuff and I just whoo, have to. It's impulsive. Can't help. I just, it's my pathology. I, I see, I see evil fucking pieces of shit attacking people. That's where I gotta go. I'm just nuts. Yikes, Karasu, that sounds hard. But Chud Logic cares how he looks. sounds tough to deal with. Chud Logic cares a lot how he looks. That's why he's shitting the bed here, because now, now it's him. Now it's him in the spotlight. And it's not pretty. And he can't handle that. So anyway, DK what this, responds. What if this Chud is under threat too? And fuck it. Everyone, go report nuts. Uh, uh, go report nuts Twitter account right now. No, I'm just kidding. That's a joke. That's a joke. B -b 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 Bazinga. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. Don't do that. Everybody, just send a dunce at nuts right now. Come on, dunce, dunce nuts. This is your opportunity. Who cares about him at this point? See, he 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 could he could be quiet, right? He could do nothing. There were options. There were things he could have done. Instead, he tries to defend him, attack his mods, make his mods look stupid, make the people DK threaten look stupid, protect DK at all costs. Look at that. So look at how beautiful it is. Look at how beautiful it is. It fits so good. This is the only thing keeping his channel running. No, the only thing keeping his channel running are, are the people who are still naive enough to go on it because he, he contributes nothing to the show. Nothing. He's, he's, he's Jerry Seinfeld, the most boring character there. We get it, Jellicle, you're a fucking loser. I say, you better comment on this, and this is your contribution, that's pretty sad. Um, no, it's okay, if Jellicle doesn't think it's too far, we can see what we can find on Jellicle. Yeah, he's doubling down, it's a threat. Oh, I say, DK, yeah. no. I'll let people get I to agree. work. This is fucking crazy, you were schizo-posting, come on. Oh, wait, hold on, Chud says it right here. These are coming across as threats. No, they are threats. These are coming across as threats, and it's out of line. What's the difference? Yeah, I know, and I'm not happy with, what, with that, as I said, but this shit pours fuel in the fire and puts people on edge. I won't do it in this server. I can stream it. How's that? Jellical wants to set the pr Wait, he quadruples down. This is the fourth quadrupling down on the threat. Jellical thinks it's fine. These are coming across as threats and it's well out of line. What's the difference? These are coming across as threats. What's the difference? DK doesn't know the difference. These are threats. This is how dumb you are, Chud. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know why I interfered. Like, this, this, this was your context. It's like, oh, oh, I'm going to hit you twice as hard Sunday. You're fucked now. You've awoken the dragon. Proceeds to dig his own grave and fucking lie in it. Yeah, I know. And I'm not happy with what with that, as, as I said. But this shit just pours fuel on the fire and puts people on edge. I won't do it in the server. Look at this. I can stream it. How's that? Jellicle wants to set the president of this. Okay, no. Plans. He has a practical measure to do this. He's going to follow through on the threat. This is how fucking stupid these people are. This is, this is like, this is beyond the pale. You came on here after you after you covered for your employee uh, harassing and threatening because thank you for that extra context. He's been harassing people before this. Harassing and threatening your community and your mod team and and has been slandering, forging documents to slander, forging messages to slander your colleagues. He has been, he has been calling uh, members of your community grotesque slurs. And you covered for him and you disparage the people he targeted. And then you come on here and you lie through your teeth. There's no salvaging this. He has nothing. This man is so confident. This man is so confident. He thinks you're so stupid that he can put the words right on the screen, right in front of you. Read them out and just tell you, no, this isn't what it means. You're fucking delusional, Chuck. You're actually insane. You're actually fucking insane. There's something wrong with your head. Right. Okay. All right. So that's the end of that video. Now, hold on a second. There was something else I wanted to see real quick. So. Hold on a second. There's a couple of other things I wanted to look at. I believe there was. Let me see. Hold on a second. Okay, yeah. So wait. Okay, 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 okay. So this is some stuff from DK. This is one of the one of the one of the screenshots from stuff that he said. Rhizome is fat and Sunday has Down syndrome. Why doesn't Rhizome just not eat less? 
uh, uh, Rhizome is truly a nasty semi-human. Rhizome is black, by the way, just so you guys know. Uh, where did Rhizome go to school? My investigation said inner city, but I didn't dig too deep. Do you think he has one of those hanging holds that help fat people get out of bed? Remember when he was watching a, 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 a video? I mean, this is just him making fun of him for being fat. Uh, if Rhizome doesn't respect Chud and throws him under the bus, then I'll do whatever I can to hit back. Okay. I feel bad for Chud that he has to share a room with Rhizome at TwitchCon. The room will probably stink. Oh, stink of shit. Okay. That's the tame stuff. So here's... I think this is the threat. Yeah, this is the threat. Huh. Okay. Um... I, I I think there was another thing. Hold on a second. Let's see. One moment. I believe there was another one. Let me just double check if I'm not remembering. Oh. Yeah, this was the one I've seen before. I've seen this one before. Because this was from last month. FW is just a stupid black whore. And this is, this is me quoting, by the way, just so you know. FW is just a stupid black whore that is hungry for male attention constantly and takes any chance she can get to take up the mantle against me. Just gonna say, that's pretty sussy. That's pretty fucking sus. Oh, yeah, here's some of the other ones. Yeah, here we go. These are the other, these are the other ones I'd seen before. I'd seen these, I saw these last month. I am, tra here's some receipts here. Hold on, this is right here. I am transphobic because I said it's gay to touch dicks with somebody. People without dysphoria that claim to be trans disgust me. He said that twice, it looks like. Uh, here's him just making fun of somebody for having non-binary trans women. Opinion disregarded. Comedy humans. I'm not a man or a woman, but I'm a woman and refer to me as a woman, please. She cut off her dick, Lamau. If you have a dick and you fucks the ass of someone with a dick, you are gay 100% of the time. Even if you're a trans woman, that is gay sex. Oh, nice. Just, uh, just open transphobia, you know? Nice. Okay. All right. Interesting. Ah, uh, here's another one of him saying, shut up, black, uh, sorry, shut up, black bitch. Okay. All right. We'll check this one. This is the response. All right. Let's check out, let, let's just check out, let's check out Chud's response. Let's be fair and let's see what Chud has to say in full without any commentary. Cause I, cause I want to see this. It looks like it's a short video. It's a 10 minute video. We're going to watch this. All right, let's do this. Thanks, President Sunday. I never thought I, I never thought I would catch myself saying those words. What are you going to do about this? I know that on your own platform you'll be telling all these fucking lies. No, no, don't fucking move on, you no, suck. No, 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 shut the fuck up. So are you what, autistic? What, what, are you, let me ask you, are you autistic? He's still in, he's shut still the fuck up, position. you absolutely despicable king moron. You're fucking delusional. Yeah. This is not rocket shut, science. Shut up, you fucking 
fucking retard. I'll explain it to you. You think you're special? You've got five fucking videos on Nyko because she cried on stream? Are you okay? Are you a fucking child? Okay, hold on. There's a lot of things I could say right now. There's a lot of things I could say right now. But I just want you all, I just want us all to take one thing, okay? One takeaway so far, all right? Look at what we're up to, okay? We're, we've devoted just a little bit of time to stare into this mess, and the rest of the time, we're here with 350 people talking about politics, having a good-ass time, none of whatever this shit is. Okay, I'll check my DMs real quick. Whoa! What the hell? Who the fuck is this guy? Wait, Merrick, who the hell is this guy? Is this somebody on their team? What the fuck is that? Wait, but this isn't even drama. This isn't even drama. This is like, oh, like, fucked up. This is like, it's just like people screaming at each other. Merrick, wh who is this person? Oh, so this is just, wait, is this like currently? Hold on a second. All right, hold on. I got to check on this one before I can say anything. Wait, so this guy hasn't even been... Oh. Okay. So yeah, this guy is still in the server. I just checked this right now. So one of the one of the people with a content creator role in Chud server, still in the server by the way, said this. And I just checked now, they are definitely still in the server. That's an interesting choice. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Some very interesting things going on over on Forge. I mean, the that Discord server. Hello. Right. Can what you, have you got to say? Yes, I can. Yeah. I I don't I don't really have a whole lot to say. You've been going off like a jilted ex lover. Um. Wait. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. What, what, what you, do you want? Wait. You're saying that to me when you were. Yeah insane in my dms whilst i was on vacation where the f are you guys saying that to you, me i think i i think i sent like four messages saying like hey can we have a private chat i didn't say hey we need to talk right now i just said hey there's a thing going on can we chat okay seems so like seems like a normal response so, to that like, like if i received that message my response okay. would be like hey i'll talk to you in a bit um sure and then i like said like here here's a thing i'm critiquing this thing that okay. you're doing you didn't have to go off and like, hey, we're going to go to fucking war now. Right, let me tell you what actually happened before you start. Dude. I know that on your own platform, you've been telling all these fucking lies, okay? Let's get Wait, to look, the truth. Is this what being a full-time dr drama streamer does to somebody? Yeah, I talked about this. I talked about the problem with drama streaming. With If you only do drama, if you lean too far into the drama, then you end up like the blood sports community where uh inevitably you have to keep milking drama from more and more people even if you even if you alienate them and it just makes it it's just a toxic death spiral for the matter i've Go got the it. dms here okay so mm -hmm. you sent me a bunch of messages first of all yeah. about ico and dk that was on august 28th yeah. you sent me the, that one august yeah. 30th you said can i ask you a question and then last yeah. wednesday you sent me a bunch of messages about dk okay then on Thursday, you said, Chud, can we have a private conversation in strict confidence? Yep. I responded then, and I said, mate, I'm on holiday. Are you for real? Because you sent me so many messages. I haven't been checking my phone. Yes, yep. we can talk when I'm back. This coming yep. Thursday at some point. Yep. So I did what you have just said. I do not think Sunday does drama. Mostly it's politics and research. Yeah, I know. Um, I know. Uh, President Sunday gets in like personal arguments with people and he appears on streams that have some drama shit going on, but again, credit where credit is due to President Sunday, uh, he doesn't tend to do drama content. I'll say that much. I should have done.
Uh, which is which is what? Said yes, we can talk when I'm back on Thursday. Uh, sure. We can just look. We can just look at President Sunday's channel, right? We can just go look. Let's just check. Let's find out. Because some people in chat said that, uh, hold on. No. He has 384 videos. Actually, that's an impressive amount of videos. So, Chud Logic, besides this road of Chud Logic, we have a three hour uh, description of Destiny. That's a little bit it. A debate react. A debate react. No coconuts, a little meme. Um, a conversation. A debate react. A debate react. A discussion. A, a, de a YouTube react. Yeah, most of this isn't drama, really. Debate review. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's... It looks like there's some drama in here, but I wouldn't call this a drama channel, not even a little bit. Anyway, let's continue. But I'm, I'm not going to not field the critique in that instance. Like, even in the initial video, I asked you where... Oh, you yeah. Uh, President Sunday was being mega cringe against Keffels. To to be completely to be completely honest, the like the weird shit that that Sunday did towards Keffels was fucking cringe. You're gonna do about this? Oh, you made peace. Okay, there you go. Look, they made peace. All right, all is well. Peace was made. There you go. Structural problem, I see. Okay, all right. That I didn't know that. All I saw was what happened on Twitter. I didn't even know you did a video. To be fair. All right, let's check one more time here. So this is that guy, by the way. This is that person, just so you know. This is the guy who is currently still active. The one who made a joke about killing Rhizome's mods. From This is from their server. So this was screenshotted from Queeman's server. I need any and all info screenshots about the FW Jellicle Nina gay ops as I've got the green light to go after those fucking roaches tonight. Wow. Yeah, some wild shit going on over there, huh? See that you need to deal with. But I actually blocked out your name of the thing because I wanted to keep you distant from it. I didn't want to have you involved in that thing. The reason why people were speculating and not just no, no, me, wait, by wait, the wait. Way. No, no, don't fucking move on, you no, sack no, of shit. No, 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 shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. I said to you, I'll speak to you when I'm back. Why didn't you respect that? Why did you continue messaging me when I said, I'll speak to you when I'm back? Why did you not fucking respect that, you loser? I didn't fucking call you. You don't have to respond to a DM like now. That thing sits there for however long you want it to. I wasn't like pinging your phone. I got your attention. At that point, I'd already made the thing. And that's that's that. You you have a mod who's threatening staff. He's like saying racial slurs. He's he's like abusing people. We saw that he's been like on a weird vendetta against people in, in that you've had on as guests. Like this stuff is fucking Do you dangerous, understand? Man. Okay. Do you understand? Why I'm annoyed when you've put in your video a big fucking screen when I've said yeah. to you already, I'll speak to you when I'm back. And then this video is up. Maybe it was up when, when I sent those messages. I don't know the exact time frame. But you put a big fucking message when you know I'm on vacation and I can't fucking do anything about it at that point. You've put a big thing in your video that says, what are you going to do about this, Chud Logic? You've already recognized that I'm on vacation back on Wednesday. Yeah, you've decided yeah. to make this video, which includes a screen that says, this what are you what going you to do about, about this, Chud Logic? Logic? Yeah. Yeah. So, so are you what, autistic? What... Okay. Okay. Chud Logic is really in no position to be criticizing clickbait. Like zero, zero position to be criticizing clickbait thumbnails. Like. Are you, are you let me ask I mean like like we can just like I can just show you what I'm talking about. Like just look at Chud's channel. Like, I mean wretched creature. This really pissed me off. 
You're so sensitive, lol. Self lobotomy is fine with me. Insane drama. She's so manipulative with an arrow pointing at Iko. The laziest streamer, Vosh. You know, you know, I mean, being fed to death, canceled by Twitter lefties. Uh, I, I don't know. This is abuse. I mean, I don't know. I just think there's a lot of, a lot, I think it's pretty fair. Uh, uh, I, I, I think this is pretty fair to say this is some clickbait, you know? I don't really, I don't know. Feels a little, feels a little disingenuous to complain about Are you that. autistic? Well, you are you autistic? Well, you probably, are you actually well, autistic? What you probably could have done. Oh, yeah. Are you autistic? What you probably could have done. What you probably could have done. Are you autistic? Is what you probably could have done is like a week from now, you could have just responded to it. We would have had an am- Okay, okay, I, I, I do think it's funny to have a video about Vosh being the laziest streamer. Look, I'm just saying. Simple conversation. In fact, actually, what had happened was you were like, just, hey, this is, this is, like, it's, it's too complex, mate. Like, we're, we're. Ted says, you are fucking dreaming if you think we're going to have a friendly little chat after your actions. If you want to go to war, we can go to war. Because you are angry with DK framing an action in a certain way, you have gone the attack. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, but we just watched the video. We've seen the shit. DK was threatening people. Your mods were right. Like, Chud's mods were right to be angry. And President Sunday is correct to say that that uh, threatening to dox anybody that you can find dirt on in, in a 2011 member server is, is not just framing an action. Like, this is LARPy as hell. If that's the game you want to play, I can play true. And trust me, I will hit twice as hard as you will, you fucking sack of shit. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm fucking cringing. I'm cringing. I'm cringing. It's we're, we're deeply involved in the what? business. I don't Judge. agree with your politics on on this stuff. We could have just talked it over. I probably wouldn't have gone this hard. Instead, your response immediately is like, "We're gonna go fucking. We're gonna go to." Fuck to war. I'm going to hit you back twice as hard. It's like, dude. Yeah, I asked because you, you've hey, attacked you me for like no reason. In your when I've said to you, yeah, we can talk more back. And also, you know, I'm on vacation. You've referenced it yourself. You made this yeah. fucking video. And then you also later trying to tell me, well, I'm trying to protect you. I don't want you to be involved. When in your video, well, you put a big screen that says, what are you going to do about this? Yeah, logic? Yeah, You're yeah, fucking yeah, delusional. Yeah. Yeah, I, I put a big screen saying, what are you going to do about this Chud logic? This is a problem. I mean, here, here's a question for you. Why was this allowed to fly for so long? You got, you got somebody on your payroll who's fucking it harassing your logic. It wasn't allowed to fly. That, yes, I it thought, fucking was. He's no, still fucking, fucking wasn't, there. No, it fucking wasn't, you moron. My, my, I've dealt with it without having to go. There? He's because still in Shut the still fuck up, you absolutely you despicable fucking, fucking moron, Christ. okay? I you went to Great Lake. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I went Anyone, to, shut the fuck up and I'll even, explain. With even the faintest bit of, of responsibility for his community, for his job, with any self-respect, would have dealt with this immediately and definitively. This is not shut, rocket science. Shut up, you fucking retard. I'll explain it to you, okay? You fucking moron. So, I went to great lengths to speak to multiple sides when that happened, okay? But you spoke to multiple sides. Okay. You threatened remote staff and you spoke to multiple sides. Oh, you, 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 you great... Okay, okay. This is the first time the voice has been funny, okay? I'm sorry. This is the first time the voice was funny, okay? It's just a, a little... The, the, the everyone screaming and then the fake British accent. Okay, that, that was funny, okay? This is the only moment, okay? Sure, so, you fucking child. Who the fuck does that? Hey, I've got somebody who's working for me. I'm, he's now threatening people who I do not pay. I'm just gonna talk to them? This is a thing you negotiate? Are you okay. are you a fucking child? Okay, so basically I spoke to all parties involved. Everyone was satisfied, okay? The drama That's was closed. The but you're not there. happy, but you're not happy. What's it got to do with you? Who the fuck are you? What's it got to do with you anyway? Who the you're fuck fucking are you? Okay, Chad Logic. To be fair, it has to do with every single person who's a member of your server. Your admin threatened people. Your admin threatened every user of the server, and those, those, those logs have gotten out 
to everyone. You didn't keep it under control. Your mods freaked out as they should have. Your user, your users, your Discord members, your own audience is the one who's taking the brunt of this. And for you to defend this guy, it's like, I don't know, I don't get it. Like, I can understand Chud Logic being annoyed at President Sunday because I'm gonna be honest, President Sunday DMs a lot and he's pretty aggressive sometimes. But, I, but to be completely honest, this is really aggressive too. So the aggression is not the issue here. It's just the fact that when, when President, like Chud Logic is just flatly misrepresenting what President Sunday said, which was pretty straightforward and correct as far as I can tell. And Chud Logic doesn't contest any of the logs. These aren't fake logs. You think you're special? You think you're special? You've got five fucking videos on Nyko because she cried on stream. And you're gonna okay, because why, why are you moving the goalposts? <laughs> What's it got to do with you? I'll employ whoever I want, you fucking bitch. I'll employ whoever the fuck I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. You're a bitch. You sold out so fucking cheap. You're pathetic. You are, mate, listen, I don't know who the fuck you think you are to tell me who I can and can't employ. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's fucking gone. He's fucking gone. He's gone. He's fled. He's fled. President Runde. Oh my fucking God. He's, he's left the call. <laughs> uh, okay, that was good. That, that was funny. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. That was a uh, that was funny. All right, that was a good one. Okay, but I gotta say, I don't blame. I don't entirely blame President Sunday for just dipping out at that point. Like being done. Like after you confront somebody and then you just get called a retard like fifteen times and screamed over when you have a very serious complaint, a very serious and very well grounded complaint that Chud Logic himself admits even the mod team was scared of and now it's gotten out to the uh now it's gotten out to the general uh viewer base. Yeah. I'll do what I want is yes, as as Mixed Dizzy says, I'll do what I want is not a defense for defending a dox threat. That said, uh points to Chud points to Chud for uh President Run Day. That was really good. You're being far too charitable to Chud Emo. He's gotten worse and worse over the past couple of years. Yeah, maybe. This seems like a really bad, this seems like really fucking bad. I'm not gonna lie. This seems like a pretty, to me, as, as a streamer, as somebody who runs a Discord, this seems fairly straightforward to me. Like I said, um, I cannot imagine ever going to bat for like a, a fucking, for an editor, to endanger my entire community, I've told every single person on my team that at the end of the day, because it's my face on everything and my name on everything, that at the end of the day, I reserve the right to make like executive calls about who's on my team and who I work with. Um, because all of it reflects on me, all of it. It's my name, my face is the one that's on stream all day, every day. Look, it's me. I have to walk around with this face. I have to walk around with the repercussions of my accident. Uh, uh, of my accident. With the repercussions of my actions. Wow, my brain. Uh, there's no fucking way, zero fucking chance in hell that I would let an editor endanger my community to that degree. I just, I don't know. Oh, thanks, President Sunday, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I no, I haven't had a major accident except for that. Me speaking wrong was an accident, but that's just because my brain is DK worth the trouble. I can't imagine. I can't imagine any. No matter how skilled your editor was, unless your editor is literally like hard carrying the channel, like holy shit. Beeman has a channel that DK appears on? Yikes. That guy seems fucking wild. He is a good editor. He seems like he's got some talent, but like, at the same time, how much talent is worth 
you're worth compromising the safety of your entire community. Not just that. Guys, okay. If my Discord got detonated overnight, do you know how much it would hurt my career? Do you know how... Do you, I rely on my Discord messages getting out for people to come to my stream. Most people who come to my stream do so through the Discord alerts. It's not YouTube alerts that brings people in, it's Discord. Discord is really fucking important. I can't, I can't imagine, like, a threat against my community like that is, is, a, is a direct threat to my livelihood. You imps are my livelihood. Like, obviously that doesn't mean random imps can just demand things of me, obviously. But it, but the preservation and safety of my community is incredibly important to me. Especially from employees. Okay, that is true. August is a really good, is a really, really good editor. August is a fantastic editor. Yeah, exactly. That's true, Sovneo Static. He's left the call. Five minutes, present Sunday special. <laughs> He's left the call. <laughs> I mean, why did he bother coming on? President Runde strikes again. Jesus Christ. Why did he bother coming on? That's embarrassing, man. That's I mean, I will I will agree that this was an embarrassing conversation, but not for the reason Chud thinks it is. I think this was an embarrassing conversation because it reminded me of Andy Worski. You guys, um, you guys remember Andy Worski? He was like a, he was like a uh, blood sports streamer who is completely irrelevant now. His entire career has detonated. He did like uh, blood sports arguments, basically. He would have people from, he would basically have people who had drama with each other come on his show and hash out beefs. And like, that is what it would sound like all the time on his show. It would just be people screaming obscenities and racial slurs at each other. Yeah, he's not doing well at all. Like, his entire life is ruined. Um, yeah. Well, actually, even lower effort than Keemstar, because basically he would just host arguments. He would just... It was like debate... It was like the debate panels, but minus the premise of debate. It was just, like... A bunch of people who have beef with each other fighting with each other. Yeah. Oh yeah, he got knocked the fuck out. That's true. It's fucking embarrassing. Why would he bother coming on? Embarrassing. And again, anyone who's trying to follow Worski's model should remember what happened to Worski and his channel, which is that basically they ran out of content to farm, and so they made drama with each other. They made drama within their own community, within their own team, and eventually the bad blood got so bad that it detonated, it made it impossible for any of them to work. It made it, it impossible for them to make actual content, and they all started trying to kill each other, basically. It was, it was fucking bad. Yeah, yeah. Killjoy says, literally squeezing blood sports from a stone. It was fucking bad. Why did he bring up the Ico stuff? I thought the issue was, we were talking about this thing... And my point was, even if he thinks I didn't, I mean, it's undeniable that I handled it. Even if he disagrees with how I ended up handling it, fine, make that criticism. Who does he think he is to tell me what I have to do and not do in regards to DK? It's fucking mental. It's like he's my fucking father or my boss or my teacher. Like, get the fuck out of here, man, seriously. And listen, like I say. Wait, Chud, wait, wait, wait. 
Karasu Kafka. You can't just drop that without a link. Come on. He did he did a coverage of 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 Romani and Travelers. What? Is that fucking real? Karasu, you got to give me a link to that. If you don't know if you don't understand this, the very first message he said to me. I need a link to that. I need a link to that. Is kind of a cunty thing for DK to do to Ico with that thumbnail, huh? That is the first message he sent me. Everything else from there has all been at the aim okay, of yeah, me getting no rid of DK because he's it. upset about the fact. Hey, we might be getting some extra content tonight, everybody. That DK made these videos about Ico. So, first of all, he attacks him on the basis of his editing. Okay. And then he sends me, obviously, a few messages he's got from this gay op shit. And then he finds what he thinks is the golden goose. This allegedly threatening of DK. Like, Jesus. Okay. All right. Maybe we'll check into this after. <clears throat> Thank you. Look at this. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my God. What a moron. Jesus Christ. This is fucking tragic. Unbelievable. Anyway, all of this is all about Ico. He's unhappy with how DK's dealt with Ico. Okay, so that's the end of this one. All right, so there's one last thing I wanted to watch, which is multiple people told me to watch this one, which is uh, this video is DK and Chud Logic arguing over Vosh, which sounds stupid as fuck, but also sounds really funny. So let's do it, huh? Let's, uh... Iko is another is a is a small is like a mid sized streamer, small to mid size. I think they I think uh, she gets like fifty to sixty viewers. I I really like Iko on a personal level, a lot actually. All right, let's uh let's watch this. This is this is a video titled "I Fired My Editor to Defend Vosh on Genocide Reddit." Rhetoric. Now, I happen to know because I skipped ahead a long time ago when this video first came out because I was surprised he would fire his editor. This is this is clickbait. He does not fire his editor. That was a joke. So, yeah. And now I'm on Vosh's subreddit getting roasted by a bunch of... Here it is. Okay, so basically, the long and the short of it is Vosh debated this guy called Luke Beasley. Oh yeah, so the person we're gonna hear debating here is the editor. This is gonna be DK versus Chud Logic. In regards to Republicans. Um and it was like Vosh said some pretty spicy things. Um which I a lot I disagreed with, you know, quite a bit of what he was saying. Um I think I, I kind of think that the idea of calling a what's happening in the States at the moment a genocide against LGBT people. Um is is excessive no it isn't not at all not even a little bit um especially especially considering especially considering that like <laughs> i'm sure there's also pride shit happening at the moment in america right um so anyway you know i think that i i disagreed with a lot of what you said but you know it was an interesting um uh, conversation and I enjoyed reacting to it and this kind of stuff. Okay. Now the day that I went away, basically. That's true, peaceful warrior. You're you're correct about that. Chud be like the genocide isn't bad, but talking about it is. <laughs> Wait, what? What genocide? Anyway, basically, what happened was, so I I went away. Okay, and then like the next day, I woke up to a message from Vosh. Right, and we'd spoken briefly about talking about my take on drama from like two weeks ago now. Okay, um, and Vosh just sent me a message and said, "Oh, hey, um, I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused about your about your recent video and thumbnail on YouTube." Right, and I was like, "Oh, what could what could that be? I, you know, I, I can't imagine." Anyway, I looked at what DK had put up. 
because DK does all of my videos and everything like that, okay? But I looked at what DK put up, and this was what DK said. Shots at them. They deserve to die. Vosh advocates for Republican genocide? That's so dishonest! Okay, there's- okay, clickbait, alright? Clickbait is clickbait, but sometimes it's so out of control. Thank you very much, 85D2D Derek. It's very- that is very- that is firing high. Vosh advocates for Republican genocide. I was just like, look, I've got a lot of disagreements with what Vosh said in that video, but I don't think he's advocating for Republican genocide, okay? I don't think he's advocating for Republican genocide. Bastard Collection says, wait, Chud didn't check what his editor posted? I'm sorry, I don't know if that's normal or not. It really depends on the channel. It depends on the rapport between the editor. Um, for example, uh, on my stream, my editor posts the videos, but then my my producer, uh, my producer, um, is the one who does the titles and the tagging, and uh, then I have a thumbnailer. So it's like a collaborative effort. And then I usually uh, I usually have the final say. I'll go and check the video every day before it comes out. But yeah, it really does depend. Yes, he said some shit I really disagree with, but Jesus, like, this is, this is like, this is way too, you put your foot too far down on the pedal here, bro. Like, this is, this is not an accurate, that's not even an accurate representation of what I believe Vosh is saying. We don't even have checks and balances, we just work together, Danny. We just talk to each other. I don't know. Saying. I was like, I'm sorry, you've got to change this, you know? Because the thing is, is like, I'm happy to disagree with Vosh and stuff like that, but I'm not looking to just like randomly just say stupid shit like this. And also like, it's not even what I say in the video. I don't think I ever even talk about the idea that Vosh is advocating for a Republican genocide. Okay, I will say, this thumbnail is hilarious. It is, it is obviously, it's obviously across the line, but it is extremely funny. And also the fact that I'm sorry, but Chud laughing at it is making me laugh. Okay, thank you, Ivy Evans. Oops. So I was like, look, bro, you've got you've got to tone it down a bit, okay? Like, Jesus. Grab that real quick. And then, I didn't realize at the time, because all I had was Vosh's message, and I just messaged DK to talk about it. And then I found out I was on his... I was on Vosh's subreddit. I found I found out that I was on Vosh's subreddit. I was like, oh no. I've literally just like stepped away from streaming, right? And now I'm on fucking Vosh's subreddit, getting roasted by a bunch of Reddit losers because it's because of this fucking video. I was like, fuck. So I left a comment and I just kind of laid out what had happened, right? People were getting super fucking triggered in the replies to this. But anyway, it doesn't matter. They're Redditors. Redditors are subhuman and not worthy of any consideration. He's describing the issue. So we got to watch this so we know what they're going to argue about, okay? So it's fine. But, like, um, the thing is, me and Vosh spoke privately about this, and we sort of hashed it out, and it was fine, you know? Um, okay, thank you, Ivy Because Vosh messaged Appreciate me and that. said, oh, what, what's this about? And I said, oh, you know, I disagree with you in the video. I think you said some spicy things, but, yeah, this isn't really accurate. Um, you know, it's my editor that does this, so I'll speak to him and I'll get him to change it, you know? And um and and he changed it. I think he changed it to one thing and he's now changed it to another, which is a bit more spicy than what he changed it to. But at this point I'm just like, just leave it as it is and we'll just move forward. It doesn't you know, it's done now. Wonder what the current one is. What did he change it to? Oh yeah. <laughs> I like the fact he got the gun picture in there. There will be violence. They're not like us, they deserve to die, there will be violence. So it is, it is, you know, it is a bit more spicy, but I, d I don't know. At this point, I'm just like, I think I'm done with this, this particular drama. Vosh masks off an insane debate. 
Good night, Lucy. The main issue I had with it is the fact we'll that he said that Vosh was calling for a genocide of Republicans, and I just don't think he did. I think he sort of tapped his nose Good. about maybe causing harm to certain kind, like maybe legislators, and there was obviously... Um, the comments about um, what else was there? There was the comments about taking shots at Patriot Pair people. All right, so we get the idea. Let's jump ahead. Let's hear the debate. We're jumping ahead. I don't care. We're, this is taking too long. We got the we got the context. Let's right. do it. Right. Here we go. We've got a little surprise lined up for you. Okay. Uh, hello. Oh, hang on. My settings might be messed up. Come on, man. Why is oh. Um, okay, so for everyone that doesn't know, this is DK. DK is, uh, I should watch that video. Maybe I'll react to it at some point. The editor of the YouTube channel, Chad Logic. Introduce yourself. What? You just introduced me. That's it. That's, that's everything. No, is, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, not really. That's, that's me. We've not spoken for a little while, have we? No, we haven't. It's been... A few months, probably. On voice. We speak in DMs all the time, but on voice. We don't. No, he ghosts me. Especially around the end of the month when it's payment time. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, we had a little um, disagreement recently, didn't we? Uh, yeah. So, okay. You want to just jump into it? Because I can start it off. Yeah, sure. Go on. Okay, so... Uh, I guess the disagreement was, well, there were a few things, but the main thing was if Vosh thinks that we should genocide Republicans or not. And I think from his initial debate, it's pretty obvious that that's what he thinks. And I don't think I was out of line for framing it that way. And I guess I'll, I'll explain that. So uh, I guess the easiest way to frame it would be basically the way that he framed it during his initial debate, where, uh, like, through the lens of the Jews and Nazi Germany. So... We already know, we already know a lot about DK, and I'm just going to say, the way he says the Jews sounds racist, okay? Like, I'm just saying. It just sounds like... It sounds weird. Like, listen to it, yeah. Uh, like through the lens of the Jews and Nazi Germany. So. Sounds like he was, uh, he's like watching his language extra, extra hard because he's, he was going to say something else. Yeah. He has said in that debate and then a little bit in the debate with Rosaris that. Republicans basically are. Hold on, I have a few pulled up. They're like, guys, I know that's not really anything hard. We already know this how this guy feels about black people. I'm just saying. They're basically so he said they're less than human. He said we should be able. Uh, he said people should arm themselves. Uh, we should be able to shoot them. Uh, the country is being degraded by them and that they're less than human or at, at the very least a lesser type of human he said so i think if you line up all these things together then it seems pretty obvious that he thinks it's cool to or he thinks it probably at one point will yeah if i'm if i'm not mistaken the the context of this was vosh talking about republican militias rolling through your neighborhood not just general republicans i don't know it's been a while it'll be a good thing a i just find it funny that this guy is like super offended about the idea that there's an lgbt genocide but then he says that vosh getting mad at republican militias is genocide it's just i don't know conservatives the further right you go the bigger of a fragile snowflake they are straight up every single fucking one thing to genocide republicans okay so i think the thing is is you're having to like you know i i agree with you that that sort of rhetoric is you know wrong i don't think that i should be saying shit like that but i feel the way that it was framed when the video came out 
you know, I, I can be open and explain the other reasons maybe why I'd be concerned about framing it that way. But I oh, think that, that fundamentally, that sounds great. There, he hasn't said enough to make the solid claim or, or to say that he is calling for a Republican genocide. Right? And I appreciate there's a level of like spiciness you want to get in the video title. Um, but I think that that statement isn't something you can quantify to the sufficient level where you can put that as the title of the video. Uh, true syllabic. Okay. Well, I just laid out like a bunch of reasons. So like, is there anything you disagree with in those reasons? Or you think those aren't sufficient to say that someone is advocating for genocide against a certain type of people? Well, much in the same way as, you know, I've looked at the um, sort of evidence of, you know, people say there's an LGBT genocide or whatever. And I look at it and I go, well, I don't really think there is. And I don't, you know, I certainly wouldn't say that anyone is calling for an, an LGBT genocide, even though there's some rhetoric from conservatives that's like quite troubling when it comes to this. How many laws, how many, how many states have now passed bans on medical care for trans people? Yeah, we could just check the original video, right? How long ago was this video? The original Vosh rant was like, hold on, let me see. We can just look it up real quick and then we can be sure about this. Hold on. It, does anybody have that link? Do you guys know which video this was from? Uh, hold on, let's take a look. There's so many responses to it, but I just want the original one. I don't know which video the original one is from. It, all of these, when I search that video, it's just a bunch of, uh, it's a million DGG Orbiter videos. It's really funny. If you search Vosh, you get fucking more DGG Orbiter trash than you do actual Vosh. It's Vosh v. Roserist, was it? I didn't think it was with that. Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to put these on the screen, and if you guys see the one was on Vosh Pit, you guys tell me if you see it. Must have been two to three months ago. Do trans people need to arm themselves? Was it from this one? Wait, was this the rant right here? Oh, you sent it to me? Thank you! You're, you're being so kind. Oh, wait. Hope and seethe. Let me get you. Let me let you get a bigger, bigger, better picture. There you go. Thumbnail that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, just wanted. To, let's get back to the content, everybody. Here we go, guys. Don't trigger FW. She might start doing crack and shooting other black people in back alleys. Get it? Because black people are in gangs. Hmm. Hmm. Can someone tell Demon Mama I have ADHD? I am neurodivergent. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. You're in good company here. It's all right. I won't be too mean to you. I don't want to hurt your feelings. I know you're... You seem like a very fragile person, to be completely honest. 99% of it is trans women that are angry they don't have enough money for bottom surgery, even if they wouldn't do it anyway because they're only trans on Twitter. Mate, stop. What, are, what even is this? Facts. I said it's gay to jerk someone off while you fuck them in the ass and then I get attacked across multiple servers endlessly because I'm a bigot. I get it.
Dude, you're just- you're just a coward. That's what you really are, is you're spineless. You have to do this mask on shit. Everybody knows what you're trying to say. Everybody knows that you just don't like trans people. It's very clear. You post about them all the time. Everybody knows you don't like black people. But you just don't have a spine about it. You do what all the other Nazis do, which is you Pepe post and you go, Oh, ooh, ooh, I gotta make, I gotta pretend. And then when people call you out for what you are, you go, I'm so offended. I'm so offended that I made a bunch of Pepe posting jokes about black people and somebody called me racist. Just own it. Have a spine. Have a fucking spine. You know, you you know, and also, just another thing, let me tell you. If you've never been jerked off while getting railed in the ass, you are just simply missing out on life. So, maybe, maybe rethink that. Second, hold on, what the hell's this? <laughs> is this real? Wait, are these real? DK editing. Chud logic. Check Discord for fuck's sake. A mega lol. Oops. I will kill. I'm sorry. This is a site. This is a quote. I don't know. You guys can just. Can I? I mean, where is this? Where is this from? This can't be real. That's what he got banned for. Oh. Yeah. Someone's gonna clip this. Like you guys can just see this shit on the screen, right? That's what he got banned for. Oh, okay. So yeah, this dude's just a griper. Okay, do you see what I'm talking about? Do you see what I mean when I say that like, uh, do you see what I mean when I say that like, um, they're just cowards? Like this guy's just, he just, he's just racist, but he's such a coward he won't out and say it. Dude, just, 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 just do it. Make a racist channel. Just do it, okay? And then everybody can make fun of your stupid racist shit and you don't have to be a little sniveling coward anymore. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, let's get back to this video. Let's hear what DK has to say here. Topic. So by the same logic, I don't, I don't think that there's anything explicit enough to say, you know, Vosh is calling for. A Wait, you were watching a Chud, a Chud stream, and you rem remember him saying out one of those chat logs. Hmm. Republican genocide. I think that um, there's enough well, criticism I mean to be had of his position without making it that explicit yeah. when it's not explicit. That doesn't surprise that. me. Again, I've seen so many fucking logs about this guy. So many random people have screenshotted him. Like, it's unbelievable. This guy has, this guy has dropped this shit all the time. I mean, I think it's, first of all, I think it's nah, a different we're not even situation because done, unfortunately. you're saying if there is or isn't currently a genocide right now, and right now we're talking about whether he wants it or thinks it would be just to do so i like i don't think that there is a republican genocide right now i he obviously didn't say genocide republicans explicitly and i don't even think okay i'm not a nazi expert like you but <laughs> i'm pretty sure he didn't just say like let's genocide jewish people i'm pretty sure he said shit like they're not human they're rats stuff like that so, yeah, like the dehumanization. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so Vosh did explicitly that. And then he lined up a process by which we should arm ourselves and why it would be just to kill these people. Chud not dropping this guy months ago seems more and more sus. It definitely seems weird. This guy seems like a massive liability. So you could say and that Vosh dehumanizes conservatives, right? You could say dehumanizes conservatives. Um, you could even say... Um, Vosh call, uh, maybe calls sure, for violence against conservatives. But the thing uh, is, you're putting all it all together. together, you're putting all the pieces together to say Vosh calls for a Republican genocide. And that's that's the thing that I, I didn't take say issue calls, with. first of all. I said advocates for it. I think there's a distinction there. Because I, I don't think he's saying go out and do this. I think he's saying that oh, it sorry, would okay. be just to do this. So yeah, Vosh advocates for Republican genocide. And then it's take shots at them. They deserve to die. Was the was the quotes in the thumbnail? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I don't like the framing of because you said um, in another video in the Rose Hurst video about um, 
I mean, he's just talking about oh, lawmakers. I think he might have that's unfortunate said that to, to me in DMs also. But, I mean, clearly he's not just talking about Republican lawmakers because he said these things about taking shots at people from apartment windows. And unless he was talking about explicitly lawmakers in a truck driving down neighborhoods. Well, okay. So the, I, I agree. So the difficulty I had when watching the Rosewood conversation is because I, I, you know, find it difficult to remember the specifics of like the previous video. I end up thinking, yeah. well, did I overreact to the original video? Or, you know, is it that Vosh isn't accurately representing what he said? And I think what I kind of ended on is, yeah, I don't feel that Vosh was, Vosh was accurately representing how extreme he was being in the first debate that he had with that Luke Beasley guy. Um, he definitely wasn't, yeah. Exactly. So, but, you know, I guess if he's talking in a new conversation and he's saying, no, this is my position and he's being hyperbolic in the other one, um, I guess the worst I could do is, is point that there's maybe some inconsistency there that he's, uh, you know maybe not accurate representing what he said in the first video, but beyond that, you know, I, I, I don't know what else I can really say about that, if you know what I mean. Sorry, I mean, I, I that's after after the fact, I guess. Um, but the, the other the other thing as well is like... Yeah, we can watch the video. Uh, so it was, people are saying that it was from the trans, should trans people arm themselves video. We can watch that video and just confirm whether whether or not he said that. But I remember that video. I mean, you know, I'm going to get grief and shit for different things potentially. But this particularly, you know, ended up with on Vosh contact to me and then it was on the Reddit. And um, I just, I feel that my read of what Vosh was saying, like this didn't really accurately represent that. So I, I guess, I guess that for me, because I don't think in the video I talk about the idea that Vosh is advocating. I think I say he's kind of gesturing towards it in some way, but he's not directly advocating for it or something like that. So I don't really feel like it kind of accurately even sums up my feelings of what Vosh said, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's fair, I guess. But uh, I mean, you have to distinguish between that and what's going to get clicks and stuff, right? And I think, I don't think, I think uh, the title that I used was one, good for drawing attention, clearly, and two, not outside the lines of what was said in the video, whether it was you saying it or him saying it. I didn't say, the title wasn't, Chud says Vosh advocates for Republican genocide. Okay, that's fine. But what happens in the video. Okay, but you need to understand as well, right? People are fucking stupid. So they're going to look at this. And they're not going to think, oh, this is Chud's editor's interpretation. They're going to think this is what Chud Logic believes. Good night, Wendell B. It's said. great to have you. I hope you have a you good know. night. Uh, maybe. I know, it's getting a little late. I mean, maybe like the obsessed Vosh. Who is the FW that DK keeps talking about? FW is a, uh, is a user on the Discord. Just a random user that, that there's beef with. Trans. I don't know that. No, Isra. I, but YouTube is pretty weird. Uh, I just thought it was. Isra, if you want to be sure that you get the notifications, join my Discord. Whenever I do a stream, I always, always, well, okay, not literally always, but v almost always will do a, uh, a like early day announcement and then a going live announcement. The Discord is where you want to go if you want to get the most reliable uh, messages. I'm pretty, pretty consistent about it. The spicy title. Sure, but there is crossover there as well, right? So, like, this is kind of what I wanted to get into because the thing is, is like, if it if it was if it was somewhat well, I don't know. Even even if it was someone I didn't like, I don't know if I'd be comfortable with something. Oh, that's that, okay. So, I don't know about that. Well, I mean, it depends if they've done something. I mean, with the song, also, I would if like, I look, I would sorry. like to point. I would like to point out also before we get too far in this, we started off talking about if Vosh actually was advocating for this, and now we've pivoted to if the title should have been that. So do you, do you agree that he kind of was advocating for a Republican genocide or? So I don't think that he was advocating for a genocide, okay? Um, not directly. I think that he was engaging in like dehumanizing rhetoric and he was kind of gesturing towards some violence. But I wouldn't say that he was advocating for a genocide personally what are you, gesturing is that don't say gesturing he literally said like verbatim you should be able to sh he wants people to be able to shoot them from apartment windows 
Yeah, sure. So he's gesturing towards violence. I don't right? think that's gesturing. I think he's explicitly saying. Wait, the inv the the. Hold on, though. Like, again, it's not really worth fact checking on something so in the weeds. But the point that Vosh was making was if Republican militias come rolling through your neighborhood, you should be able to shoot back. Also, yes, apply this, apply his logic here, how we should interpret his threats in the server. Well, it's very obvious. The thing is, it's pretty clear. I think you ha I think, I think your case against the threats is just, you're 100% correct. I, I, uh, I don't really, I don't really see any other argument to be made and not even Chud Logic really had an argument against the just raw inappropriateness of the threats made on the server. So I think you're just correct about that. I just think that this guy's a, a coward. I think he's just a coward who's triggered that Vosh said something mean against uh, uh, something he didn't like that wasn't genocide, but he wants to call it genocide because he wants to feel special. Okay. But, I think okay. that's a gesture. Okay, well, what do I, well, yeah, no I, I mean, what Have is, a great night. I don't know, to me, that's like gesturing towards that idea. I don't know, I mean, sleep. okay, sure. He's explicitly calling for the ability of people to engage in violence against Republicans. Sure, I can agree on that, okay. right? But that in itself, no. I don't think crosses the genocide boundary. So you can dehumanize people, right? And you can also say, oh, I think that... Um, you know, what was it? If Patriot Pairs prayer members are driving down your street in a pickup truck, you should take shots at them. Okay. So I yeah, think see, that, that, was, that was, that was, there's the quote right there. If Patriot prayer members are driving around your neighborhood, uh, which is a little different, seeing as how Patriot prayer is a group that has gone and engaged in violent action, uh, including getting arrested by, with a truck full of armed people, which was planning on going and attacking a pride parade. A pride parade, not a fucking protest, a pride parade. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Here, I'm going to open up this one so we can watch this. At, maybe we'll watch this after. Let's take a look here. Those things that can be said, but that doesn't necessarily constitute advocating for a genocide. What do you think would constitute advocating for a genocide? Because the way I see it, He's dehumanizing a large group of people, 50% of the population, give or take, right? And he's saying it would be hmm. okay to enact violence against them, or that he approves of it, even. He thinks it should happen, given this LGBT genocide that he thinks also is happening. I guess it would be more so a more direct um, comment on the idea of engaging in violence in a more... Um, in a broader sense, so talking about you know, g killing them where they stand, taking them out of their home, so something like that. You know, wiping them out, or I don't know, something along those lines would be more of an. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Merrick Merrick says Patriot Prayer, famously fifty percent of the population. Yeah, totally. Vacation for a genocide. I think that. But remember, just remember, conservatives, they are like. Uh, they hear you should punch you sh that it's not like they hear they hear somebody say like oh it's oh, it's like it was funny when Richard Spencer a Nazi got punched and they go that could be me that could be me next it's so pathetic you know he's he's maybe calling for political violence maybe is something you could say something like that I mean he definitely is calling for political violence I mean he says that even but I think I think the dehumanization takes it a step further okay but then you are putting those two things together right to come up with the genocide thing i mean you have you put things together yeah obviously i mean like Brew, uh, no one would do this yeah when biden said trump and the maga republicans are a small minority of republicans and they're dangerous every republican was like he was talking about me that's my wife you're talking about all the Trump rhetoric and shit, like people would say he's fucking racist, right? Because he says all this shit about Mexicans, you know? Like, oh, he, he didn't say that Mexicans are subhuman, but he said they're not sending their but, best. Well, but right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't like say that. that, but wait, I wouldn't say that Trump was advocating for a genocide of Mexicans. 
Right? Yeah, no, but I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you would you like you put things together it, when people speak. You, you don't just take them at every single sentence that they say. We're, we're not book smarts, right? You have to take the amalgamation of all the things that they've said and understand what they're talking about. Just yeah, like sh sure, and, and, and the kind of Bosch content is going to do that. They're going to watch all these videos and hear all these videos of him saying how Republicans are subhuman. We should arm ourselves. There's an LGBT genocide. We should be able to kill see what Republican got, lawmakers there's if there I'm waiting is on real quick. an LGBT genocide. She said it's happening. And then, I mean, the lawmakers aren't really the ones to blame, right? I mean, it's the people who vote them into power. And then I think it pretty easily snowballs from there. Yeah, I mean, I think that he was, uh, like, inconsiderate and, you know, not correct in the way that he presented some of the rhetoric. But I don't know if it, I, I still don't agree that he was advocating for a Republican genocide. And do, do you not worry that by saying that you're potentially engaging in the same kind of fear mongering that so we're much, criticizing Aristotle, Bosch for in that. the video that, that came out? Or well, I'm criticizing Bosch for, I should say. Uh, no, I don't think it's fear mongering. No, I think, well, I mean, I guess that would be my opinion. I'm, I feel like I'm taking him at his word. From what he said, I mean, I have like lots of these direct quotes of this crazy shit that he said. And, and the thing is, is that, you know, if you presented a comment, I would happily, you know, say, well, that's, you know, a call for political violence or, um, you know, dangerous rhetoric or whatever bad thing that it would be. But to me, it's just too much of a leap to say he's advocating for Republican genocide. That's what would be... Uh, political violence on a mass scale against people you think are lesser than you. That's not necessarily a, a genocide. I mean, it depends what definition of genocide you're using, I guess. I um, mean, we're pretty we're pretty close. Then, at the very least, you can admit that we're pretty close to to genocide territory. I mean, is at any point does he call for like the complete eradication of Republicans, so that we need to wipe them all out, that we need to murder them all, kill? Them? Saying that you should shoot people in self-defense is edgy, for sure. You could argue that it's a certain level of Pepe posting, but it is not genocide. It is so, so not advocating for genocide. Them all, destroy them, like, every single one, like, you know. I mean, if you start coming after Republicans, shooting them in the street as they drive down in their trucks or whatever the up. fuck. These guys talk too slow. Uh, I mean... You don't think they're going to fight back? You don't think there's going to be a war? He said, like, he did that wink, wink, nudge, nudge thing about a civil war. Um, yeah, I mean, but the thing, yeah, obviously, you know, I was critical of that. I think that, um, yeah, he's actually, yeah, the civil war stuff, and I, I disagree with completely, and I think it's wrong. But a civil war doesn't necessarily constitute a genocide. I think it's the genocide word that is the main issue here. Yeah, but when you go to war against a people that you think are lesser humans, I feel like that you're pretty much advocating for a genocide, no? Like, that, that, that feels like the first step to begin a genocide. A genocide. Like our, our country is, our country is I, crumbling I, I, because of these people. Whatever. We need to take action. We need to take violent political action against these people who are lesser doing and just going to check country. real quick. It's really I mean, easy is this me not verify. just Nazi versus Jews? Well, would you get you a fancy name? The genocide? I know shit about Middle Eastern shit, so I'm not sure. Well, that was that was um you know George Bush calling for you know a war against people that he believed you know that in terms of being terrorists are lesser. Like by that definition, I think you might call any war a genocide then. And I just think that um, makes the word. I don't know about any war, but maybe sure. I, again, I don't know much about these things, but I think yeah, if he's All saying right, that these you. are lesser I'm people, you a fancy name. Let's get you I think fancy. Like, that George Bush is, yeah, I think George Bush's rhetoric. Welcome could, to the you know, chat. A long time ago, but from memory, there you go, I'm fairly certain all, that he used rhetoric about up. say um, Islamic terrorists that was very derogatory and and you know would very likely have had the impact of making people believe that an Islamic terrorist is a lesser lesser person than them. You know, used words like crusade according oh, to chat. Thank so, you. You're you know, all. You're I just, all I feel like by going me. along this this line of thinking, we're we're broadening it out to where you know the Iraq War could be considered some form of genocide. And while some lefties might agree with that, I just I just think that you know it's not meeting my view of criteria of what a genocide would be. But yeah, I mean, again, it's not something I know a ton about. So, well, no, that's okay. I just I just don't know if we're gonna. I, I think that I, I will get on board with saying that the shit Bosch said was bad. It was too extreme. It was you know way too provocative. Whatever bad thing, but for me, genocide is just too high a mark. Um. But yeah, we can agree on mass political violence against a lesser group of people.
Yeah, yeah, I, I think, don't yeah, worry. It's definitely mass political violence Derek, it'll um, happen. and the dehumanization and um, the idea that conservatives are lesser. Yeah, sure. That's uh, that's something that he, right. you know, talked about. And I guess well, yeah, just sure. like the word genocide carries a bit too much weight in the public island for you. Well, for me, it's just that I think that we use genocide a lot to describe a whole bunch of things. You know, like people are talking about that there's an LGBT genocide because there's a couple of shitty bills that are largely being knocked back in the US. And, and I just think that's a mistake to, to do that. So I just be cautious about using, using that word. Like, I know the video title has been changed, uh, I think, a couple of times now, but if it originally had been like, you know, Vash, Vash calls for political violence against Republicans or something like that, that probably would have would have been fine, I think. Um, yeah. You know, so it was just a very strong way of putting it, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think we're playing like a bit of a weak semantic game here just so that we look a certain way publicly, even though okay. the positions are pretty much the same. But well, maybe, I mean, maybe it does come down to uh, semantics. But I think that the, the thing is, is that, yeah, obviously, you know, um, I, I mean, I'll say it openly. I, I I wanted to change it because it, I didn't feel it accurately represented what I felt about it anyway. But beyond that, you know, obviously, I don't want to like burn a bridge with someone unnecessarily. And me and Vosh had a totally fine interaction about it, you know. And I tried to like I didn't want to make it like I was just like yeah, fuck DK, he's an idiot. Like I wanted to say I mean, we disagreed about this and it got changed. Um, yeah, not the three or four times that you brought it up, but <laughs> it's fine. Wait, what do you mean? Talking about it now, it's okay. I mean, you tweeted about it or not tweeted about it. You posted on the subreddit about it. You talked on stream about it. Wait, okay, hang on a sec, mate. Yeah, I've got to do fucking damage control on a bunch of fucking Reddit nerds sawing out at me. So yeah, I've got a fucking comment on the Reddit. Just, what the fuck's wrong with that? Listen, listen, I understand, but I just don't think you would do this for other people. I, I feel like, like if Nick Fuentes said this shit about Democrats or something, I don't feel like you would. So you, wait, you're telling Nick Fuentes and Vosh. You know, Nick Fuentes' fans have been involved in nearly every neo-Nazi, major neo-Nazi uh, 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 uprising, riot, and and uh, his fans were hugely involved in January 6th. Nick Fuentes himself was at January 6th. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to take a different approach, dependent on the relationship. These relation people are, these, these Nazis, I swear to God. Like, I don't know, everything about this conversation, including going to Nick Fuentes, just makes me think DK is just a cowardly crypto. I've got with the person involved. Wow, fucking what great insight. Yeah, obviously. I mean, it's obviously. a relationship because he won't even talk to you. Well, no, we had agreed to talk. It's, um, I, it was of the drama thing that we were going to talk, but then that sort of passed. So, you know, the thing is, regardless of whatever the relationship is, yes, if I've got like a more positive or amicable or neutral relationship with someone, right, I'm going to deal with that differently, okay, than if it's someone I think's a fucking dickhead. Yeah, sure, obviously. Yeah, sure, of course. But what I'm saying is that if Nick Fuentes or someone like that said these things, that you wouldn't be defending this. You would say, sure, it is a genocide. I feel like that's what you do. I mean, maybe you, you can wouldn't. Feel, feel, but... feel what you want, okay? And we'll have to see what happens when that, when that situation occurs. Um, sure. But like... I mean, I, I don't know. It depends. I'm not. And also, I don't think I'm defending Vosh here. Okay, I'm just saying that I'm disagreeing with you about whether this is constitutes advocating for genocide or not. I'm not defending Vosh in this. I've got a lot of disagreements with the stuff Vosh said. Um, you know, and I even fucking I said to him like, some yeah, stuff he was saying. You know, I was saying yeah, I disagree with how it's framed. But like what you said in that video was like, um, you know, really fucking spicy or something like that. So it's not as if I'm, you know, I, I disagree with what Vosh said. So it's not like I'm defending him. You may not be directly defending him, but I feel like you're being soft on him. When you wouldn't extend the same charity to other people. Yeah, no, I probably, I probably am being more charitable to Vosh than I would be for someone else. Sure, but that's fine. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not mad about that. And I, I don't know. Well, then why are you mentioning about... it then? Because I think you're a pussy. That's why. I think you should go hard. We need content, man. I'm dying over here. Okay, we're getting content. Listen, we've got some good content today about the gay shit that you can put up. That's going to be great. Anti, right? <laughs> well, well, middle road, I'd say. I think that okay. some of the. I'm sorry. What? Can we play that again? I'm sorry, I'm gonna slow that down. We're gonna hear that again in real time. We need content, man. I'm dying over here. Okay, we're getting content. Listen, we've got some good content today about the gay shit that you can put up. That's gonna be great. Anti, right? <laughs> well, well, middle road, I'd say. I think that okay. some of the grooming shit's a bit over the top, but I do think some people are acting like the drag event thing was fine when there's some issues to, to criticize from it. No, there wasn't. It was literally right-wingers making up explicit lies, just completely lying so they could justify attacking drag queens who didn't do anything wrong. All right, I'll probably watch that later. Okay. Well, this could be... Anti, huh? And then, of course, the chat just says based, 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 DK is based, DK is based. Content as well. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> But no, mate, listen, I know it's been a bit quiet on the content front and I've, you know, I've definitely made some mistakes in not covering some stuff. And I think being away has fucked me over a bit as well. And hence the YouTube channel. But um, 
Yeah, we'll get some good content out. Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> but yeah, listen, okay, I do want to say, I know it feels like maybe I brought it up a couple of times, right? My intent, it, you know, I don't want to like just shit on you, okay? I've I've tried hard because, no, you know, to, I, to it's not... fine. I understand. I I totally understand. You like you have your political face to think about. I and I I don't actually give that much of a fuck, but no, sure, I just, but I don't want it to I'd seem be like. for me to give you shit for it. You can give me shit for it, and I'll absolutely take it. Right. The thing is, I don't, I don't want it to feel like I'm like because I've never wanted it. I even said, you know, the channel's like my over responsibility. I'm not trying to say, oh yeah, this yeah, is all course. DK's fault. Fuck that guy. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, and and I understand your position too. You don't want it to seem like you're just out of nowhere saying, oh yeah, Vosh is against You've got a thought out position and a reason you've come to that conclusion, which I accept. That's fine. I, you know, you're not just yeah. doing it for the drama you've thought of this and that's where it's come from and i accept that you know we just disagree yeah okay that's, okay, that's a good way to put it can't do with that okay cool well thanks a lot for coming on mate it's been fun yeah we should do this more often when we disagree okay sure yeah definitely okay mate have a good one yeah you do have a good stream peace you there. Bye -bye. Honestly, the most sus thing from this entire conversation was the weird thing where he was like, you're making an anti-gay video, right? That is so... That is the most sus mask slip. That is a classic mask skip, slip, by the way. Like, straight up. That is what... That is what a mask slip looks like. It's when you get, you get comfortable and then you accidentally say something that reveals your views. That is a classic mask slip. Holy shit. They roll police cars. Is it racist to dislike gypsies slash travelers? Chud Logic talks about the recent gypsy discourse that has been broiling on our destiny. That sounds fucking really, 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 really blatantly, obviously racist. What to do about travelers? I oh, Googled, come on. Uh, um, European opinion polling on what to do to Romani, and this came up. What do you agree? What, a genocide? What, do I agree with a genocide? I mean... <laughs> no, obviously not. Why would you... I don't understand what you're asking. Obviously, I don't agree that genociding people is a good thing. No. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> no, of course not. The Aborigines, but you can't take our minds. You can't take our hearts because we're free. Palestinian okay. to UK. Okay, hot take. Hot take. Okay. Hot take. I hope this isn't a hot take. This is actually an ice cold take. Okay. Making a stream that you title, Is It Racist? to dislike X racial group, and then you just watch like vid footage of like a riot. People do this with, with like black people as well. They'll do like, they'll do like a video like discussing the problems in black communities. And then they'll play a video with like a bunch of footage of just completely contextless footage of just like a, a riot that happens to have a lot of black people in it as if that's supposed, like it's literally just Ah, scary black people. That's that is that is what this the, that's what this is right now. That's what this like just. We will never go away. We are uh, in control of the whole site. Uh, it's calm. Uh, the Good job, Trevor. Reduced, uh, and obviously the bailiffs are now within their um, operational uh, parameters and are starting to actively take steps to, to clear the site. There was an isolated incident this morning regarding taser. I think that's well uh, documented already. What I would say is that serious violence was offered to a, uh, a pair of officers in particular. Uh, their response was to protect themselves. They carry personal protective equipment, which included the taser, and they just naturally reacted as they are trained individuals. They tased uh, someone. Oh, my God. Uh, we haven't experienced uh, that many difficulties this morning. We teach OK, every right, listen. I need to listen, Americans. I need to ask if something like this happened in America. What what would happen <laughs> like if there was this level of violence? Because obviously it's bad, but no one's getting shot or anything like that. Everybody with Thank respect. Thank you very much, Ron. Uh
pause real quick. Ron's KFC, thank you very much for the incredibly generous $10. Thank you very much for supporting the show. Deeply appreciate it. And there's been a clear a delineation between the travelers and the protesters this morning. The majority of the, the vast, sorry, let me just finish. The majority of the violence was clearly come from the protesters as we understand it. Uh, and obviously we've had to deal accordingly. I can't believe it. I'm in total shock. I'm, I'm sick with shock. I cannot believe that this, look, look what's happened to us. Our own homes have been and buffer and this is what they're doing to us people. Our whole life they've been doing this. We ran up the back and someone said the police was all coming in and I couldn't believe it. So we went up the back to have a look. We were just standing to see what was going on and they wanted to get in so quick. There was no camera people around. They just grabbing us and they were firing us away and shoving us out of the way and they shot me in the wall. I fell and slapped. And my friend, her back is hurt us. She just gone to the hospital. This is supposed to be here now to keep the peace, to stop violence. And they're worse than the bailiffs. This is what these do. I didn't know they were going to be like this. I thought we were going to have some kind of dignity when we were getting drunk out of our homes, not getting bit up. I'm afraid of my life of these people. The whole lot is just, they're violent people. No one take any satisfaction at where we've come, where we've ended up to today. Certainly when I became a councillor, uh, it was never in my mind and never did I want to preside over an operation where we saw riot police on the streets. I think you've got to try and find a way. But I'm absolutely to find clear a balance. that after 10 years of negotiation, to try and find a peaceful solution to this. Oh, that actually what trying to find a solution the to right the problem. To I see how it is. Trying to figure out a little solution to finalise this issue. Which of the own group find this practice disgusting? Well, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's not a monolith. There's going to be probably other people, other Romani people that criticise this too. <laughs> You say I'm betting for a down appearance. You came into my chat and said some retarded shit. I mean, you know, is that not baiting to speak to me by coming in and saying you want me to not be a sellout? Come on now. Oh, hello. How's it going, mate? All right. Um, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just um, I'm just researching the plight of the Romani people and gypsies and how bad it is and how we should um, be supportive of their their plight. Why is everyone talking about this right now? Because basically, you've got a bunch of fucking retarded Americans that have only got an American conception of race and culture, and they try and apply it to everything, including the, like a European issue, like the Romani people or gypsies. And um, they just have really bad takes on it. So people are saying that it's racist to take issue with a bunch of um, nomadic people turning up in your town and, and setting up camp in your local fucking school. Do you have a person? Hmm. It's gotten bad, huh? Damn. I mean, that's just racist. It's just racist. I I'm sorry, it, it just that's just racism. Like, what are, what are you supposed, so, okay, so hold on, like, j just real quick, like, I'm just gonna pretend that we don't all know how racist that is, okay? But let me ask you something, what are you supposed to do if you are, like, a, a nomadic people who have roamed across an area, a large stretch of space for a long time, troubling nobody, and then all of a sudden, over time, your lifestyle is criminalized and you have no choice uh, but to be constantly discriminated against by the police for living the way that you live. Like, what are you, what are you supposed to do there? Just like, cope? You're just supposed to suck it up and just let your way of life die? Like, what if that's just the only thing you've ever known? Like, we're not talking about just traditions, like little traditions, like celebrations, which alone would be concerning. We're talking about an entire way of life.
personal experience with this happening in your town or something? Yes. Tell me about what happened in your town. Um, Here we go. It was a little while ago now. Long story short, um, there was this car park by a place I used to work. And these travelers showed up. A, a parking lot. A, a fucking parking lot? With their caravans and all their bits and bobs. Oh, let me, let me, this is, um, I don't, I know nothing about I, Romani. Is that what they're called? The, you know what my only right. experience is? You know what most Americans only experience uh, to this is? It's What's one that? movie. One oh. movie. That's the, oh, yeah. The gypsy movie thing. What's no. it called? Snatch. Oh, Snatch. Do you like that's that? That's the only, that's the only. Oh my God. Understanding. Oh no. The, the travelers, they came and they occupied our parking lot. Dear Lord, they've conquered our parking lot, our garage. I have of, of this whatsoever. So okay. I, I don't think I've ever met someone who's. A Romani, Welcome if that's what, how you're supposed to say it once in my life. Okay, so there's different... There's, so you've got Irish travellers, that's what's represented in Snatch. Right, so that's like an okay. ethnic group from Ireland, and they're a nomadic people that have lived here for hundreds of years. And obviously in olden times, you could like, you know, travel from farm to farm and do jobs and shit. But as you know, you know, the times have moved on. You can't really do that anymore. So they're kind of just left in their caravans, knocking about the place, going from one place to the next, causing trouble. So were those um, the ones that came to you, like the, you know, the bare knuckle yeah, fighters true, with <laughs> Brad Pitt? I mean, Brad Pitt, just to be clear, is an actor. Um, what? Yeah. Uh, he's, he's not actually, no, I know he's a very good performance in that film, but um, yeah, he doesn't actually speak like that. Would you believe it? Um, I'll just quickly say like Romani and Gypsy people, it's kind of more romanticized in the UK, but in Europe, there are some issues with the same sort of thing, but obviously they're not a monolith. Anyway, Irish travelers come into this car park near my work, right? They set up all their stuff. They take up loads of space. They take up loads of car parking spaces. Oh God, no. Oh God forbid your empty baked fucking parking lot. Are you fucking serious? Is this fucking real? Am I, am I watching a real? Um, and like, you know, they start like getting aggressive because obviously there's friction then between the locals and the, the travelers and that <gasps> friction leads to Wait like, a second. conflict, right? I've yeah. seen, oh boy, I've seen an episode where, of a show, uh, that won't be named where they evict people that were, uh, like in a, um, they were in like caravans and shit and they were staying on someone's parking lot and then they called in the high court enforcement agents mm. um, to come and uh, get them out of there. I remember that. Oh, people parked in our parking lot. Oh my God, I guess we better send in the riot police. Well, I was actually what- Least, ra least racist British people is what we're having right here. This just goes to this just goes to show you. Remember how I said you shouldn't feel too bad about the fact that British people are going to suffer? It's because the truth is, they're they're just they're just unfortunately British people are just born this way. Like it's like the racism has seeped deep, deep, deep into their bodies. You know, they're just they're just born that way. They can't help it. In fact, calling them racist is racist in and of itself. Racist against the poor British people who need their goddamn parking spots. Oh my God, what are they gonna do if they can't get, uh, if they can't see an empty parking lot on their way to work every day? Uh, and then they threw about. stone, they threw stones yeah, yeah. At, at the dudes as they showed up. I was watching videos of these people tearing down. Oh no, they threw stones at the poor cops who came to evict them? Oh! Down these poor traveler homes and I was, extremely critical of uh, what they were doing um very bad situation anyway um so the locals get in you know that you've got the people they turn up they take up all the space they cause like a ruckus and and they cause friction and then the locals start to you know get antagonistic and backwards and forwards it goes um you know cars were getting broken into notice how he's framing this as the romani people doing 
the the aggression like oh yeah they come in they cause a bunch of trouble and then the locals you know the locals can't help but get frictitious what the hell man um i i make a joke saying that they were shot on someone's car i don't know if that's true but i'm going to pretend it is because it's kind of funny Good night, aristocracy. May he reign for as short as possible. Um, and, and yeah, it just causes this friction which blows up into a situation where the council get involved and then the police come along and say, right, that's it, move along. But all you're doing is you're making it someone else's problem because you're just moving them on to some other area of the country and then it's their problem to deal with, right? So but they haven't got anywhere to go. They haven't got a fixed abode. So it's a very difficult problem to solve unless you force them to integrate into society. Oh, thank you. What do you think? Can you do, do well? How do you do a good accent? Oh, all right. We have confirmation now. By the way, we have confirmation. By the way, so this post, this post is real. This has been verified. Just so you know, I we have verified this is real. This was uh, before he got banned from Twitch last night. Any, that's amazing. Pathologic and Pathologic 2 are genuine masterworks, and I'm glad you're playing them. Yeah, yep, no, this is, this is a real one, by the way. I spit ex sorry, this is a quote, I'm just gonna quote this, you know? Let's see, I spit exclusively on trans and black people. Hmm. Yikers. All right. Just wanted to let you know, we've gotten confirmation. Those are real. We've verified them with the Twitch logs. To go, they haven't got a fixed abode. So it's a very difficult oh. problem to solve unless you force them to integrate into society. And what do you think? Can you do, do, well, how do you do a good accent of these people that came to your town? I just want to get in the spirit, understanding how they sound. I know you do well, a lot of accents. Well, the, the, the kind of, the, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get put on the spot. I can't do an accent, okay? But like, it's, you know, the, the snatch thing is kind of accurate, you know? Do you, do you like dags? It's kind of like that, you know? It's like, you know, now li listen here, you, you, you wee cunt and stuff like that, you know? I mean, I can't really do it very well, but you get the idea. Okay. So that's that's all you have. Listening to listening to like a young younger British person, listening to like a like a it's like listening to a to your great great grandmother talk about like listening to a British person talk about Roma people is like listening to your great great grandmother talk about Chinese people or black people. Like unironically. Well, to be fair, Zadoki, I never knew about this video. I never saw this video. This is just, just bla blatantly racist. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, I, 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 he doesn't even, like, it seems like he doesn't even realize how racist he is by imitating their accent. Like, Jesus Christ. This is this is bad. I'm sorry. It is. Do you like dags? That's it. Well, that's this classic line from Snatch. Listen, yeah, but I'm mate, saying, look, okay, I'm can you can monkey, you? Okay. I, I am. Well, I'm asking. Can you do? You're very you're very good with impressions. That's why I'm asking. It's a compliment. Don't be like mad at me for asking. Like okay, you've mate, given listen, me. I'm going to be what? honest with you. Okay. The yeah. reason I struggle is because you're asking me to do the accent of someone that's got essentially you right. know white skin. I, I find it difficult. Well, and we'll do one of uh all right, forget it. Fine. You're not going to do it. Whatever. <laughs> okay. I don't want to push it too hard. Um so, okay, so but why is everyone talking about it now? What happened? Well, there was a post on um I think the Des Destiny subreddit which admittedly was extremely there was a post I don't push it too hard. Um because you're asking me to do the accent of someone that's got essentially, right. you know, white skin. I find it difficult. 
Well, and we'll do one of uh all right, forget it. Fine. You're not gonna do it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. I don't wanna push it too hard. Um so okay, so but why is everyone talking about it now? What happened? Well, there was a post on um I think the Des- Destiny subreddit, which admittedly was extremely Banjo Kabooby, you just missed it. He just did a racist accent. Racist? Like it was really bad. And people were acting like this is the normal opinion. So so uh, let me read this out to you, okay? So this no, is what was said. You need to there's people that are being mean to me on the internet right now. I had to respond. But go ahead. Sorry. So this post said Okay, so this is an absolutely disgustingly racist this, this is like a Nazi post right here. Let's hear what Chad has to say about the Nazi post. And this was a post on Destiny subreddit. Uh-huh. Yeah, but this is 100 This is 100%, I guess. 98% of them are scum. The plague of Eastern Europe. And the most worrying thing is they breed like rabbits. Most of them are five plus kids. At this rate in the future, there will be only gypsies left, at least in my country, where the bright young people leave the country ASAP. So basically, Great Replacement Gypsy Edition is, is what this is, right? Um, yeah. Now... You, the problem you've got is people are acting like the people that make fair criticisms of, of like Irish traveler culture that causes friction and issues is is like this. Everyone is like this. Whereas some people would look at this and be horrified and be like, yeah, this is like pretty much genocidal type, you know, thinking. Actually, we don't we don't want to, you know, we don't think they're a plague. We just think that they cause friction when they move into an area. And we ought to try and figure out a way to alleviate these issues maybe by you know, setting up a place where they can go and stay or something like that, you know? There's a more moderate position is the point I make. I mean, like, uh, you want a camp. You're asking for a camp that you can concentrate them into, yeah? Is that what you're asking for? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, okay. Tonal Vortex says, I grew up surrounded by anti-Romani racism, and for most of my life, it was completely normalized. I had to manually deprogram myself. That's how prevalent the sentiment is. Jesus. And basically, this triggered a bunch of discourse because people were arguing about it. And on the one side, you got the, you know, the soy Americans that are like, oh, my God, you're so racist. And yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, you're being racist. I don't think I'm being a soy American by saying that you're being racist and you sound identical to any racist I've ever met on this particular issue. In fact, it's like shocking the ease with which you sweet, you like move into just racist stereotypes and making fun of a people you don't understand. All because parking lot. They're in my park. Oh, oh, oh goodness, they're in my parking lot. Sorry, I'm doing the British voice because that's what you sound like. You sound like a whining grandmother. There's some people that don't like travelers that are racist, but there's also people that have got more reasonable concerns. And obviously everyone gets lumped in together and, you know, Americans, Europeans, tale as old as time. So is travelers the appropriate term? I assume that the G word, I'm saying not not the G word for Cubans, but the G word for travelers, I guess. Mm. Is that the word they like? Because I assume it's not the G word. So Irish travelers tend to like the term like Irish travelers. Gypsy uh, is an interesting one because whilst uh-huh. it is for some people an offensive word, there's some Romani people, because it's used to refer to Romani people, there's some Romani people that associate with it. And there's even some organizations that they themselves have set up using the word gypsy. So mm. your best bet is to, to like not use it if you're speaking to a Romani person, but they might identify with it and then it's not a problem, you know? Okay. Congratulations on hitting level two, by the way, <clears throat> of your Marvel superheroes sponsor. Thank you very much. Um, I mean, listen, I'm going to be on Marvel. Marvel superheroes sponsored by. Is it racist to dislike Roma people? To be honest with you, I, I noticed that DGG was watching, and I saw quite a few people refusing to download the game, which is shocking when you consider you can unlock the Marvel legend Morbius and uh, have your very own version of Warbing Time on your mobile device. Scan the QR code with your iOS or Android device now. Thank you. Oh, you know, I, I feel like um, I should go watch that stupid movie, Gray Man. You know, I know it's going to be a stupid movie and it's going to be like Netflix's garbage, but you know, they, they spend so much fucking money on it. I kind of just have to watch it, even if it's not good, apparently. The Gray but, Man, um, what's that about? 
I don't know. It's got Ryan Gosling in it. Um, and another A-list actor. What's the other one they have on it? Um, don't care. Um, I thought I'd been cast out of the Destiny-verse for some unknown crime. But uh, maybe I was wrong. Um, no. So, <clears throat> not at all. Um, I've just been a little bit busy, you know? Very busy, actually. Not a little bit. Tremendously busy. So busy. You haven't seen anyone as busy as me. But I don't think you've done anything wrong. Um, short of just... You know... Short of just being you, I guess. Being British, that's, that's my main crime. I did see a photo of you. So you're a redhead, eh? <laughs> Typical. No, I'm not a redhead at all. Uh, I saw a photo of you. That's a redheaded look if I didn't see it right there. Big okay. old red beard too yo oi you what mate <laughs> well you know i'm coming to twitch con i'm doing a face reveal right so we can actually make some right. content irl together if you want i've already seen your face okay but, but that's besides the point do you listen i'm asking you i'm putting myself on the line here do you want to make content with me irl and, and you've kind of blown me off like what's going oh, on uh... so this seems to be the end of it well that was some stunning uh racism on display um, I'll have to, I mean, I don't know. That's, uh, this has been a, a, this has been a wild drama, hasn't it? It's been a very sus little experience.